microphone issues. All right, let's try that again. Hello, and we're live. It's almost Sunday time. Wait, one of these days, one of these days, I'll be a pro and I won't do weird things when I go live. But don't expect it to be a, a, a day anytime soon. Hello, Mohammed Al Alam, how you doing? And hi, Alex Gamer. Hello, hello. JLo, how you doing? Pre Dawn Lemonade. Hello, hello. And we are watering the feast hole. Thank you, Maymay. -may. How you doing, koi fish? I am doing pretty good today, j -Lo. Oh, that's all right, Muhammad. I have a hard time saying just about everybody's name. <laughs> hey, Armac. My day has been pretty good. I feel like I got a good amount done. I slept well. So, you know, the big broad strokes are, are, are pretty good things today. Hello, the school guy. 5 a.m. Whew. Early, early, early. Hi, Sapphire Eyes. Mufasa. Yes, they're zebra kicks. And how you doing? Happy Monday. So today is going to be a seven days to die stream. I'm going to be playing on the coffee shop server. And that means that anyone who is a supporter through the coffee shop at the llama corn level or higher can jump on and play along with us. The information for getting connected is in the discord channel in the appropriate um, channels in the discord server. And we're doing a wiggle. Thank you, Alex Gamer Boy. So if you're one of the coffee shop supporters and we'd like to play with us today, you can do that. And thank you, Miss Stox. We appreciate the support. What is Seven Days to Die? Well, Pre-Dawn Lemonade, it is a survival crafting game where you are struggling to survive against hordes of zombies. So zombie apocalypse, and then you have to like survive and craft. And, and help out your friends, or I guess you can play PvP. We don't, but you can. I absolutely love the game. It's my favorite game. I have a ridiculous number of hours in it. Um, I think my hours right now are, uh, yeah, 1,545. So I've played it a little bit. I might be obsessed. <laughs> might, might be obsessed. Just a maybe there, guys. <laughs> yeah, I played a lot. <laughs> I personally think it's the best game ever! Alright, let's get the server loaded up. That always takes it a minute to get going. It wakes up like I do. Slow. I'm not like popping out of bed like a toaster. I don't just poop and go. I'm like, Mooo. I don't know about anybody else, but that's my transition in today. And beep, beep, beep. And I think that most of our servers and games load up in much the same fashion. Just that like, all right, get things going. Do I drink coffee? Yes, I drink about two cups of coffee a day, sometimes a third, but usually only two. I try to keep my caffeine level at a reasonable amount because it does contribute to the prevention of migraines, but it can be a catch-22 because if you drink too much, it can cause problems. So I try to keep it at a happy medium. The drink that runs the world. I think that there's definitely some truth in that. And how is my day going? Well, Mohammed, I think my day has been going pretty good. I, I got some good amount of sleep and I um, feel like I did a pretty good amount of writing and, and recording today. So yeah, I feel like it's been a good day. 
What coffee do I like? Um, I specifically drink Green Mountain brand coffee exclusively. Um, it is one that the blend and the way they process it, it does not bother my intestinal tract, so I can drink it without causing any woes there. Plus, I really like the experience of it. It's a very good flavor, and my most um, preferred flavor from their line of coffee is the caramel vanilla cream, which is what I have currently in my cup. And then I add a little bit of sugar and a generous portion of milk. That is my like coffee mix. And I'm doing a posture check. Thank you, pre dawn lemonade, because I was absolutely being slouch. Always, always slouching. If I don't think about it, I'm slouching. And thank you, Miss Docs. I appreciate the support. And let's change over to the seven days to die screen. Oop. And what is what do pre dawn lemonade? Oh, the seven days to die screen is not showing you anything. That's awkward. Guys are seeing darkness. Let me see if I can fix that. There we go. I love it when it decides that it's just not going to for no apparent reason and all I do is load up the exact same settings I already had it on and somehow telling it no I really want these settings just magically makes it all work right. I, I, don't, I don't know why that's a thing but it's a frequent thing with all computers and it, it, it drives me nutty because I, I can't comprehend why it works that way. All right, I gotta like ogle myself here. I don't remember what I was doing. It's been a while since we've played on this server, so. All right, it looks like I was going fort. And strength. Because into strength I have eight points. And I got boomstick, sexual tyrannosaurus, heavy armor, master chef. So it looks like I was responsible for cooking. Um, and Fortitude, I have nine, and I got the Huntsman, and Living Off the Land, so I was also probably doing the farming. All right. And hey, Juniper, how you doing? Oh, you don't spend a lot of time on Twitch? Only here to watch the buttons are interesting. Oh, okay. So bits are a way that a person can donate money to a channel that they want to support. And that's what Miss Ox was doing that I was thanking them for. All right, so right now, I'm at gauge stage 64. I died 37 times, man. I'm telling you, I die a lot. It's like my never ending problem. All right, it looks like, I mean, I have a, a, a death penalty right now. That's what this Reaper here is. So, <laughs> you know, we're starting it off all like, yeah, recovering from dying. Looks like I have a good setup in my inventory. So the never ending battle is to have the, um, repair kits that I need, and I don't remember where things live here, so I gotta take a look at our labels. Luckily, you can label the boxes, so it makes it a whole lot easier to uh, find the things. And there's the toolbox. It doesn't look like there's any in there, so let me see if we've got any... Yeah, looks like I was, in fact, already on it. Or somebody was. I say me. It wasn't necessarily me. Alright. And then under crafting, let's see if we've got any bars of iron. We do. So I will also make some more kits. There. That ought to do us for a while. Just 
steel, steel, steel. Looks like lots of steel. Uh, I don't know if we have... Alright, great. Iron. Nope. Don't bang the things. That's, that's not healthy for your stuff. Alright, so let's get... Hey, Wilson Ann! How you doing? Forges are how we pretty much process and make everything. So it's always important to keep your forges filled with stuff. Hot and tired from practice, but other than that, pretty good. Well, I'm here. glad to hear that you're doing well. And being hot and tired after practice, I guess, is kind of expected. It's generally how the course of things go. All right. And then our farm is up here on the roof. Let's see where we're at with that. Looks like there might be some things to harvest. Looks like there's a lot of stuff to harvest. Get all this stuff stuck in my pockets and then we can make things. You know, so that we're less likely to die and stuff. Because, well, we don't want to die. And <laughs> So disorganized in the way these are planted. Just kind of seem to be everywhere. got back from a football game. Nice, nice. Were you playing or were you somebody watching, Miss Sox? I can't say that I understand the rules to most sports because I only watch them if it's like people I know playing, so it's not very often. Okay. Oh, there it goes. It's just not showing it to me. I don't know why. Okay. Looks like two here. Uh, I never have what I feel like is enough seeds after I've harvested crops. There's always like a net loss and it's crappy. Uh, we're doing a wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Thank you. I'm not... Exla? I'm not... I'm not Exla. I think is how I'm supposed to say that. Everybody, wiggle around. Oh, you were playing? You won 5-4. Nice, nice. Come on, water in the face hole. And thank you, Wilson Ann. Get the blood pumping! Yeah! I like how all the food looks like this nondescript, like, packet. And it doesn't matter what you carry. Like, it all looks the same. Alright, so then let's go over to our cook pots. These, these are our glorified cook pots. Okay. I'm just gonna cook as much of whatever I can. Looks like I need more water. So, I have to remember where my water... Oh, it's like right outside of here. Okay. 
That's not bad. To the river! Well, thank you for stopping in, Wilson Ann. I appreciate it. And that seems like a reasonable thing to do. Resting is important. Soccer is fun. I never really got into sports much. I played um, softball when I was young. And I did track, uh, you know, when I was in high school. And then I did, like, shot put and the discus javelin. And I did cross-country running. Ages and ages ago. I remember when I was young. All right, we'll get some water cooking, and that should. <laughs> I can stay on for a few more minutes because I'm fun. Oh, well, thank you. I'm glad that you think it's fun here. We try to entertain. And some days that goes better than others. I think you guys like it the most when you are on the privileges to murder me. Oh, you didn't like cross country? Just, uh,. The, the shorter shorter runs were better. Yeah, I enjoyed running cross country more than like the mile or or whatever. I was definitely I'm definitely built to be a long distance runner. I don't have sprinting in me. I don't have the body for that. I used to play softball, but my dad was my coach and I lost interest and I got into soccer because I can get my anger out for sure. Nice. And I run to clear my head. There's definitely worse ways to uh, work through stuff. And it doesn't look like... Oh, bike in front. Okay, good. I was going to say, I don't have a bike. Oh. Okay, guys, I do have a bike. It's just in the front. All right. Let's... Do I have anything in my inventory of that? Nope, I do not. Good. All right. Let's see what I got. Like, everything's a kilometer away. That's uh, less than awesome. But let's go to... Opening the trade routes. And... See where that takes us. I used to punch the wall and I almost broke my hand, so I had to get into sports. I would definitely say that sports is a much better way to deal with stuff than punching the walls. It is not suggested. Because, yeah, you can absolutely get all kinds of, like, fractures from doing that. Because permanent hand disability. Ain't no, ain't no need in that. And soccer, well, not only is it, like, a better way to process stuff, it's, it's good for your health in its own right. So, win-win, right? I think that, in general, many people find exercise a good way to, like, deal with the stuff, the anger, the frustration, and be able to channel and process it. So, any of those physical activities. Your friend broke her hand in middle school because she got mad and broke around on a brick wall. Yeah. Ugh. Not good. Yeah, and martial arts is an excuse to hit things. It's a socially appropriate way to hit things. Which is definitely better than a lot of the other options that we have. Okay, you know I gotta stop and put this car in my pocket. Might have I don't have a problem. I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, Mr. Arch, how you doing? You are a little quiet. Let me look at your settings. And I'd I'll... probably turn myself up. Uh, well, that's good, because I have you all the way up. Is that any better? You are for me. I am... How are you guys? Can you hear Miss Roch okay? Talk over here, see how I sound. Buy weak plywood just to punch through it, only me. Hey, Miss Socks, there, there's absolutely worst ways you could spend your time and deal with your frustration. 
As long as you're not hurting yourself or anybody else, I say do what works. And if other people think it's weird, meh, it's fine. You can hear him. Excellent. So it sounds like you're at a good level, Miss Ratch. Yay. I can be heard. Yes, let me carefully put this motorized vehicle into my pants. Yes, yes, the whole vehicle into my pants. I put all the things in my pants. Even this giant rock here, I shall bust it up and put it into my pants. I wonder you waddle. This is definitely a part of why I waddle. <laughs> I get so much stuff in my pockets, my character just like waddles around it emptily. And well, I can't claim that's the reason that I waddle in real life. I can't say to people, I'm waddling because I have a car in my pockets. That wouldn't that be a hilarious reason though. Imagine the looks I'd get if I said that to people and it was true and they were just all like, what? And you pulled out a vehicle from your pocket? Called a matchbox. <laughs> that would be great. Um, if you are encumbered, the game will affect your mobility. So right now, you see that all my squares are the same color. That's because I have spent the points and am wearing the equipment that makes it so that I don't suffer encumbrance. But your starting out setup is that these two bottom rows will have a darker gray and a little person hunched over with a box. And anytime you fill your inventory to include those rows when you haven't addressed your encumbrance, you will uh, suffer the effects of encumbrance, which makes you like slower and it sucks. So whenever I'm strength, I always like to uh, put in points so that I don't have to deal with it. And if I'm not strength, then I try to make sure that I have my pocket mods so that I can carry more things. So it's something that you can address in either your equipment or your skill tree. Yeah, I think that it's an it's an interesting way of handling encumbrance. Have I played Ark Survival Evolved? I haven't played any of the Ark. Um, I do own the game. It's sitting in my Steam library. Um, but I've never actually played it. <laughs> uh, it's another one that is a survival crafting game. So it does look appealing to me. Because, well... Dinosaurs. And dinosaurs. Like, come on, dinosaurs. But I definitely like the whole survival crafting. It's probably my favorite genre of game. I you think it would be fun to watch me play the uh, arc? <laughs> hey, Cookie! <laughs> your, your, your murder hobo is showing. <laughs> <laughs> As he's all like, spot snakes, spot snakes, spot snakes. <laughs> and how you doing there tonight, Cookie? Oh, you you played a lot of Ark then. If you've got a couple hundred hours into it, so it's a game that you enjoy. Nice, nice. I always feel like there's more games than I have money and time to play. It's it's so sad. I wish that I had the money to buy all the games and the time to play all of them from beginning to end, you know, and, and really explore all of the game goodness. But there just there just isn't enough time, guys. There's not enough of me to go around. You are more of a first-person shooter. I don't dislike first-person shooters, and there are definitely ones that I enjoy. Um, technically, uh, this game counts as a uh, first-person shooter. I don't tend to think of it as that, but it does fall into that category. My biggest thing is not being super into the whole PvP scene, which is what they do with most first-person shooters. Glad to hear that you were doing well, Cookie. And I am doing all right myself. 
getting all philosophical on you. I do tend to do that. God, there's got to be a side road here somewhere. There it is. I say, so I can cut across here. Squid! Yeah, I slept pretty good, and then I got up at, like, uh, I think it was about 12. I finally drug my butt out of bed. Um, and then I did some writing for my blog and did some recording for the podcast and did some recording for the Thoughts channel. So I feel like I got a good amount of work done today, even though I slept later than I had planned. <laughs> You're nerding out over the uh, squid emoji. Ah, there's worse things to get excited about. I'm always ogling the different uh, uh, emojis. I think that's one of the best parts of the whole Twitch experience is all the different emojis that everybody has. And yes, I have a podcast. If you are interested in all of the different things that I do in the world of social media, you can find a link down in my about page. Um, it's more zebra pig and it will take you to a, a list of all the things. So I've got a blog. I have three separate YouTube channels, which sounds like a lot. It really isn't, I promise. Um, I do a podcast. Um, I have Facebook, you know, the usual stuffs, but that will take you to all of them. So you can check that out. Do I have any jobs? Hmm. Hmm. Let's let's pick up some work from him. It does kind of have some similar f vibes as Fallout, yeah. I I can definitely see that that correlation. Ah, the squid's arm got all tangled. Poor Squidly. So there's traders that you can, like, buy stuff from and pick up quests and do work for. And they give you, like, rewards for doing the things. Oh, well, thank you, Cookie. I appreciate you checking out my other stuff. And, uh... It's always nice. Alright, where are you guys at? You know that there's going to be zombies popping out when you do a quest. And this hasn't been cleared out, so I always clear it out before I do the quest, and then I do the quest. You get more goods that way. Well, you have a good night there, Wilson Ann, and thanks for coming and hanging out with us. Aging and self-care is good and important. I have no idea. I don't remember what all we need for supplies right now, so I'm just gonna like use that as an excuse to harvest everything. Take everything? Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't normally anyway, right? No, no, of course not. Of course not, of course not. I mean, I don't compulsively hoard video games. No, no, that's not a thing. I'm gonna go eat something because I haven't eaten today, so I'll be back in about 20 minutes. Yes, go have some food, Miss Ox. Food is important. Yeah, no way, Cookie. Totally don't just like hoard all the things. Never happens. Mm -mm. Can't prove it. Who is the other person? Oh, uh, the other person on the channel is uh, Miss Rat. She's one of the mods, and he's playing in the game with me tonight. Howdy. <laughs> Yeah, you're cookie now. You've done it to yourself. You're cookie now. You cute little cookie. And if you cause too much trouble, I'll, you you'll you'll like upgrade to being a cookie monster. I'm sure that on the uh 
Chaos Knights, you'll definitely upgrade to a Cookie Monster. <laughs> you you love the name. <laughs> Stupid bear. Uh oh, did a bear get you? Yeah. Oh no. And I just sent you a party invite. I just realized that we okay. weren't like in a group. Yeah, I've given him up on sending it to you. You, you never. Oh, I'm terrible. I'm uber duber awful oh, about okay. like, oh yeah, we're supposed to do the thing. I'm gonna go to sleep. Bye and good night to everyone. Well, good night, Mohammed. You sleep well. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us. So all this stuff I collect so that I can bring it back and then I put it in those boxes and then Miss Roch builds stuff. I'm doing the, like, farming and the, um, food making, and he's doing the... Everything else. Building and vendoring of the things. <laughs> Everything else. Sheesh. I mean, it's probably better for him to uh, do the base because my building is, you know. I mean, when I play by myself, I don't have a base. I just kind of take over a uh, um, point of interest and use it until it falls apart and then go somewhere else. Generally, in survival crafting games, I don't do a lot of building at all. I, I do, like, the amount that I must, and that's about it. <laughs> Which varies from different different games. This one, I like that I can get away with, like, doing almost no building. I mean, you don't even have to do any crafting if you don't want to. You can get everything that you can get in crafting through the vendors. They show you pizza commercials, Cookie. That's what they always show me. I come to Twitch, and it doesn't matter whose channel I'm watching, I end up seeing all the pizza commercials. I'm like, seriously, they've got me pegged. They know they know that I'm going to buy the pizza. But what I don't understand is, doesn't that mean that if I'm already going to buy all the pizza that I don't need the commercials directed at me? I mean... I might have a pizza problem, guys. I really could eat pizza every day if I didn't feel like it would be bad for my health. Like, if it was good for me and I didn't have to cook it and it just arrived all the time, I definitely could eat pizza every day. Pizza's amazing. And because we did the quest it totally reset this poi so now we can like harvest all the stuff that we harvested all over again and get more things it's like double the goodies guys double the goodies interacting with chat and gaming at the same time quite the impressive multitasking oh it goes better some days than others <laughs> like some days i get to paying attention to like chat so much that i'll like walk my character into a wall or off the edge of a cliff. Because <laughs> I, like, totally lose track of what I'm doing in the game. Or I get to talking and I, like, don't aggro the boss or, or whatever when I'm playing ESO yeah, tanking. It's like, whoo. So, yeah, I definitely, definitely some days are better than the others. They're well, trying to get you to buy their pizza. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, what? And to be fair, at this point, that you don't have people dumping a bunch of shit on you trying to kill you constantly as well. So you have more yes. attention to pay to chat. 
this this is super true. Like tomorrow when we do the chaos stream, I will have a much harder time paying attention to chat and keeping up with chat because y'all will be trying to kill me. <laughs> and yes, they're trying to get me to buy specifically their pizza, not just anybody's pizza. I mean, if I'm going to order pizza from like a restaurant or whatever, it's, it's like Domino's Pizza is my favorite. But like, honestly, the pizza that Mr. Arch makes is the absolute best because he makes it exactly the way I want it. You know, customized goodness. I got a casino commercial, join the police, a dungeon movie, energy drink, and one more. So you got like the, the, the variety pack. I just always find it interesting. It's like, so how do they decide like what commercials do you get? Is it just like total randomness or is it like based on like something? Because I Some definitely... It depends on what you've opted into or not. So if they're collecting the data on you or not. Because ah. if they're collecting data on you, they're more likely to get the, the more personalized ads so that you're always getting pizza ads and such. Oh, well, maybe that's what's going on. I don't know. I can't remember what I told them for settings. I mean, if I'm going to see ads all the time, I'd rather it be ads that are relevant to me than like, BUY THIS jock strap. <laughs> Thanks for the donation, it falls off cliff. Yeah, that, that definitely has happened. <laughs> Absolutely has definitely happened. I'll be all like, oh yeah, amazing! And, and die. <laughs> and yeah, you guys totally murder me on the chaos nights. And yeah, homemade food is always better than like restaurant food. I like the control that you can have with, with home goods. Like extra, you know, whatever. You can put extra. You want pickles in your quesadilla? You can do it! And by the way, guys, you should try that. It's amazing. No. <laughs> Mr. Arch is not a fan, but he's a saint and makes them for me anyway. Uh, so Chaos Night is when I play Seven Days to Die and I have the Twitch integration and the Mischief Maker enabled. So people can choose to either help or hinder me as I play through the game. They can add in zombies, they can give me stuff, take stuff, just cause chaos. And then I do my best to survive. Yeah, pickles in my quesadilla. You really should try it. Dill, specifically. Dill relish. Dill relish with, with cheddar, cheddar cheese. cheese. It is super good. You should totally do it. Do it! It's amazing! Yep, you can also, like, you can also, like, give me equipment and, and buffs. Yes, that is true, Cookie. But you guys never choose to. You always choose murder. <laughs> it is a blast. I absolutely... Laugh so hard. I have so much fun when we do the Chaos Nights. That's every Tuesday now. No, that's just a regular rock. I don't I don't think we need just regular rock. I would literally perish from the disgustingness. <laughs> oh, you don't think that the pickles sound delightful? They're delightful. No, they're not. She lies. <laughs> Miss Rotch is not a pickle believer. <laughs> However, all of that being said, I do have a really strange list of food preferences. Like, I very commonly eat foods that other people don't and mix foods in ways other people don't. So there's that. You don't always spawn zombies. Uh, just 99%. I don't always spawn zombies, but when I do, it's in an effort to kill the super pig. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, you're you're also a pickle fan? Yes, yes! Yes, and Ads was brave and she tried it. <laughs> they fit perfectly in the trash can! <laughs> well, how about this, pre-dawn lemonade? 
I will take all of your dill pickles and you can take my pineapple because my opinion on pineapple is that it belongs on the bed. So the advantage to having friends who have different food preferences than you is that they're not going to shark your food and they can eat your quota of foods that you don't want. <laughs> By the way, hello, I've been here since the beginning of the stream, which is not feeling well enough. Oh, I'm sorry that you're not feeling well today, Ads. I hope that you rest up and get to feeling better and never feel like you have to talk in chat. It is okay to just hang out and lurk. We appreciate that too. All right, what are we doing now? Looks like boop, 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 we're just gonna get the supplies. This is the next closest quest. All right, I keep looking at this rock. I'm just, I'm just, I'm gonna put this rock in my pocket. Well, you enjoy yourself at karate and stay safe. And thanks for coming in and hanging out with us today. Yeah, I'll just bust this boulder into a million bitty boulders and put them all in my pocket. Yeah. I mean, too bad that in real life, if there was an apocalypse, I would not be this useful. I would not be able to bust boulders and put them in my pocket and, like, take them home. I'm glad that you enjoyed visiting. All right. Bonk. Oh, double bonk, I guess. First bonk didn't sink in proper. I love how it like shows it break into littler pieces as you bust it up. It's very visually satisfying. I'm conquering the rock, especially that last bit at the end where they just like pop up like little bits of popcorn. I mean, I've never really like busted up a big rock with a pick, so I have no idea if that's what it really looks like, but it is very visually satisfying, even if it's not realistic. And I think that our quest is on the other side of the drink. So I think I'm actually going the wrong way. Or maybe I... Okay, I'm probably going to... Oh no, it's just like up north. I'm definitely going the wrong way. Guys, when in doubt, look at your map. That's what it's for. It shows you where the things are. Ugh. I frequently just like drive off and then find out I'm going in the totally wrong direction because I do not make the quick reference to my map to see which direction I should be driving. It's a thing that takes like less than a minute, saves you lots of time. Highly recommended. Don't be the lost pig. <laughs> All right, we'll start out by bonking you. Bonk. Yeah. Very satisfying head pop. I love quesadillas in general. I usually just have the ones that are cheddar cheese with the with the pickles. That that's the kind that I usually have. But chicken ones are good with cheddar and chicken. Um, I've also had one that was cheddar, mozzarella, and kojak, and that was super good. I mean, I just think that in general, quesadillas are amazing! 
And one with pepperoni and cheese is super good too. If you haven't tried that, you should try it too. That's super good. Hey, boop snooter, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. At least crimes against food she wants me to commit. Yeah, yeah, you you commit what you believe to be crimes against food on my behalf. And I appreciate that you do not um, impose your food preferences upon me. Oh, you're doing dazzle-tastic? Glad to hear it, glad to hear it. I am doing pretty good today. Actually slept, so woohoo! Like, that's always a great start for my day. Because I don't know about anybody else, but I have a hard time having a good day if I haven't slept good. Oh, nice. I just found the black strap recipe. Cool. Yeah, so we were talking about encumbrance earlier. So see how it has the little guy holding the box and it says three? That means I'm three over the amount that I can carry without penalty. So, yeah. And I don't know how well you can tell, but they're like... And it's, it depends on the background. I wish they were a little bit more obvious, but it's like a darker color. I don't know if you could tell. Your finger crossing work. My surgery went well. I might stay a while though. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. Yay. I'm glad things have gone well. And now I'm going to keep my fingers crossed for you that the healing goes without any hiccups, glitches, or setbacks. That it all goes perfectly awesome smooth. Because man, you've had enough adventures. You do not need any more. Why, yeah. When you kill a zombie, it's just very satisfying when their head pops. I'm, I'm just, just saying. Especially if it's like the one hit whack pop, that's, that's when it's the best. It's like, yeah! I mean, it's totally not realistic. Heads, heads don't pop. I mean, it takes a lot to make a skull pop. Luckily, our, our skulls are very good at keeping our brain inside and in all that intact. You know, I guess those aren't ones I can bust up. Oh, you're welcome. I believe in the, in the power of good vibes, man. So we'll send you good vibes. Hold on. He fell down, and he's playing possum, though. Come on, dude. Fall over and be done with it. I got stuff to break. I think that I spend at easily half of the time I play, if not more, breaking stuff. Yeah, you might have a problem. I don't know what you're talking about. It's not a problem. It's very satisfying to break all the stuff. And you get the things that you need for the building. So, no problems here. I don't see how that could possibly count as a problem. Could you imagine in real life coming back and, and like... Having houses worth of stuff in your pockets that you just like unload at your base and all your coworkers and 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 base inhabitants are looking at you like, dude, what do, what, what do you got? And you're like, well, 
The list might be shorter to tell you what I don't have today. And I'm totally hearing the Little Mermaid. And her little I got this and that song. things up just right or the wrench doesn't work because you get different stuff whether or not the wrench is going a straight down whack or whether or not it's doing the twisty action twisty action means you're getting actual wrench stuff if it just does the straight down bonk that means you're just breaking it for like regular supplies And for some reason, breaking boxes gives you plastic. I don't know the answer to that, but that that's how it, that's how it works. I mean, I don't know, maybe cardboard boxes really are made with plastic, but I thought it was just paper. There's a lot of things that have plastic in them though that I didn't know that. And then I find out and I'm like, oh what? Like soda cans. Did you know that aluminum soda cans have a plastic lining in them? And that's what allows us to put the high acidity soda in the can without it corroding the aluminum. I didn't know that. And then I watched the show how it's made, and then I learned that. And I was like, what? And I felt a little betrayed. I'm like, what? It's supposed to be like plastic reducing if you buy a metal can and recycling friendly and it's plastic in it? What a lie. Our betrayals, man. Plastic and everything. There's even plastic in types of face soap. It's crazy. Welcome back, Miss Ox. Like almost all of the ones that have the little exfoliating beads, it's little bits of microplastic. It's crazy. Hey there, Ink, how you doing? Old people had lead poisoning. We have microplastics. Yeah, pretty much. Like, we've done a good job of eliminating lead from stuff, but now we've just traded it, I think. I think that's what we do a lot as humans, that we trade problems rather than eliminating them. Your favorite smell of soap. Plastic. <laughs> right? Yes, plastic! Mmm. I mean, and then all the soap that gets in, uh, soap, all the plastic that gets in the environment and then just like breaks up and becomes microplastic. Yeah, it's crazy. Problem is real, man. I feel like to, to be a responsible consumer is like nigh to impossible. Because it's just so hard to know what's really in anything. Which I find super frustrating. Like, they shouldn't be able to get away with that. They should have to just be like, this is what's in it, bitches! I mean, I get they want to keep, like, stuff secret so that people can't copy it. That's fine. Don't have to give me your exact recipe. Because, let's face it, there's a difference between everybody's biscuits recipes. Even though they have the same basic fundamental ingredients, it's what ratios you use that matter. Yeah, pokey stick here. Alright. 
I really want that pocket, so I need to... I don't know that we need... I'll just drink this. It's not the best water, but it's fine. <laughs> the world definitely has many things in it that uh, I would prefer it did not. And in many ways does suck. But there's also still some really cool things in the world too. As humans don't help either. Yep. I mean, we've definitely created the majority of our own problems. Um, it definitely depends on how you define a third world country and who you ask. Yeah, America does not rate well. By some measures. And I don't find it particularly surprising. I mean, the truth is, is that uh, we are way past the days where America took care of its people. Unfortunately. So now, in order to complete this quest, I have to find the supplies. And that's what, on my top of my compass, you're seeing the little orange bag, and it's got an up arrow. So that's telling me that it is on the next level up. So I'm going to focus on getting the quest complete, and then I will loot as much as I have space inventory for. Because, well, if I loot first, I'm just... That's not the bag I'm looking for. I'll just end up not having room for my quest bag. And that's just a pain in the butt. These lumberjacks, man. They don't fall over easily. You always gotta, like... Double or triple bonk them before they fall over. Alright, so it's saying it's up here, but I don't see it. Oh, might be behind the... Oh. Alright. It's outside. It's outside? Yes. Oh, okay. By the chimney outside, I believe, is so going to be in that uh, place. Yeah, on the back side of that. A little housing over the stairwell. Ah, uh, you sure are right. Thank you. I am ter- oh! And I just fell through. I am terrible at finding those bags. It would be way harder if it didn't tell you like, Oh, go up, go down with the little quest indicator. So I'm glad it at least gives me that clue. But even with that, there are a lot of times that I'm like, I have no idea where this bag is! And just have to like, systematically bust my way through the place to <laughs> find the bag. It's fine. Everything's fine. I mean, this floor is so trustworthy. I love walking around on floors that are gonna like crumble underneath me. It's awesome. Medical stuff. I like drugs. Give me the drugs. Well, let me help you. Watch out, it's a death crawler. Luckily, 
those don't exist in this world. Death crawlers are really good at killing me. <laughs> I think it's snakes that kill me, number one. Snakes of all varieties together. And then probably the death crawlers are number two when we're engaging in chaos and mischief. Um, when we don't have all of that stuff engaged, I have no idea what kills me the most. I think things are pretty evenly spread out. Does Q count as an answer? <laughs> I mean, it is often my lack of attention, so that could be a valid response. Where I get to doing the thing and I'm not paying attention enough and, like, walk off an edge or <laughs> right into a cluster of zombies and it's like, oh, well, hi! <laughs> Ah, it's fine. Everything's fine, guys. Oh, I gotta keep breaking stuff down. I don't have stuff in my pocket. Um, let me see. Do I have? I think I do. I think I do. I do. Love it. Love it. That is a mod that will increase my carrying capacity. I wish there was mods. Okay. I wish there was vanilla mods <laughs> that would uh, allow me to just carry more without penalty at all. Like... The current mods will make it so that you can carry without penalty, but your overall amount you can carry doesn't increase. I wish we could increase the overall carrying capacity. I have got a whole world to stick in my pockets. They need to give me space according. I mean, come on. Of course, how dare they. Put the whole world in my pocket. Like, one car at a time, man. One car at a time. Luckily, things do stack up a lot, though, so I can still carry quite a bit of stuff. I mean, realistically speaking, <laughs> there's no way one dude can carry all this stuff. Just <laughs> like this whole car in my pocket. It's fine. Yeah, there, there's nothing realistic about that. All right, all right. If you're gonna chase me down, I guess I'll deal with you. Give you a little bonky bonk. I mean, wouldn't want that wandering zombie to feel ignored and neglected. I'm gonna go over there and just be giving a little love tap, a little bonk right in the head. Be like, bonk, bonk. Let him know we care. Good thing that is not my measure of letting people know that they are scared in real life. <laughs> Great. Yeah, like, hi, how you doing? Bonk. Whack. <laughs> Could you imagine? I vaguely remember there being something behind this wood. Yeah. Like the bottom middle or something like that, or the wood pile. And you say he has a bag, you often hit find it. Oh, I had some money in it. I didn't think about it the last time I uh, cleaned this out, you know, before I reset the quest, but that's fine. Got it this time, that's better than no times. All right, and then we're gonna go back to the trader. We'll turn this quest in. Um, and then my pockets are really pretty full and my bike pocket is pretty full. So I will probably then head back to base and unload and do some more maintenance there. 
because, well, you got to take care of stuff at home. And we're doing a water the face hole. Thank you, comically. And how are you doing tonight? Because we put in some water, so that should be done, which means that we should be able to do some more cooking and make some beverages. And I try to always check the forges when I get back and make sure that they're, you know, chugging along and, and forging the forgy stuff. Because, well, it's just a never-ending need. You gotta get pretty far into the game before you don't need things that the forge gives you. I mean, that's... I don't know if that ever really happens. that note of iron this iron is good iron is like the foundation for a lot of our building stuff and oh apparently i drove by this iron before and didn't notice it's fine we'll get it this time because iron's good and i and i can collect the iron as long as my pick works i mean sheesh why I like having those repair kits in my pocket, because, yeah. Big iron on his hip, <laughs> right? I bet they don't mean a big lump of iron, um, but that's the kind of iron I carry on my hip. <laughs> There's lots of stuff to wrench here, but I am not going to do the wrenching. I don't really have room in my inventory, but I am going to get this lead and iron. These nodes are useful. Double pocket mod schematic. Nice! And drinking coffee helps with stamina and the minimum and ma. And that helps me mine and stuff, so it, you know, it makes you cooler. Ah, oh, man, I. Okay, walk away, walk away, drive away! You don't have room in your pockets. Don't look at the car. Just keep driving. I need more pockets. Let's just run over this guy. Yeah. If you hit him just right, they go flying and it's great. Alright, let's see what Joel will give me as a reward for having done that to work. Alright, I'm not going to pick up any quests from him right now because I'm not going to stay in his area for right this second. To the town of Agua Fria Road is... Zebra pig one fine day. Hardly spoke to folks around him. Didn't have too much to say. No one dared to ask him his business. <laughs> no one dared to make a slip. For the stranger there among them had a big iron on his hip. Big iron on his hip. <laughs> big, big lump of iron. <laughs> Love it. Ah, uh, no, another car! Just keep driving, just keep driving, you can do it! Mm. 
I feel strong urges to put the car in my bucket, but I don't have space. There's a car in my bucket. <laughs> it is a good song, Cookie. I agree. And yes, there is a car in my bucket. <laughs> Along with a whole bunch of other things. Oh no, this is a road I've clearly not been on. Or, well, was in a similar situation when I was on the road. It hurts us! I got something in my front bucket for you! <laughs> Unfortunately, you probably consider it disappointing as I pull out a lump of iron. Here you go, buddy! Is that a car in your pocket, or are you happy to see me? Well, of course it's a car. I mean... Pff. Of course. <laughs> Nobody's ever happy to see me. You cannot be trusted, sir. I know that you are half on the side of the Chaos Minions. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> do not know what you speak of. I'm feeling slandered right now. Yeah, whenever we play on the Chaos server, there is a good chance that you are going to engage in mischief against me. What? No. Yep, yep. I have all the VODs to prove it. Lies. I mean, that being said, you also built me a base to use, and you do occasionally, or, well, I won't even say occasionally frequently come out and help me beat boss waves and all that but then every now and again you 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 shake it up and you smite me with your mischief points <laughs> you'll be like here have some better points right in your face <laughs> and i just die because <laughs> usually that's the result of that Oh, I went to a dead end. All right, fine. I guess we're cross-country driving. Which is always sketchy business. Which is why I tend to stay on the roads. He's testing the server. Oh, okay. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah. Making sure that it can handle a good, like, wave of zombies. Gotta be sure it works well. Yep, yep. Definitely, definitely have to make sure it works well. <laughs> It's definitely important stuff. Important stuff that he stays right on and he just eagerly and happily performs his work. He's like, yes, I shall test well, the server and murder the pig. <laughs> someone has to do it. He's like, someone has to do it. I elect me. Wouldn't want to force such a job off on anybody else, you know. I mean, yes, you would hate to see somebody else have all that pleasure and joy when you could be. <laughs> Now you're just putting words in my mouth. I did. That is definitely what I read into that. Man, the stumps are being so stingy today. I haven't gotten a single honey from them today. They're like, nope, 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 nope. Oh no. It's here. It's here. Oh dear. Yep, I dusted it off and fueled it up and it's ready for you to uh, okay. take on a walkabout. Alright, we're gonna do this. I did promise ages and ages ago. <sighs> I don't really know rightly what I was thinking, but I did make that promise. So I was all like, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if we if we get the flyy thing, I'll totally drive it around. You guys can watch me. Mm -hmm. Brass, lead, clay. Where's the lead? I know I have some. There it is. And that's the brass. And this one is the rock. Power of the rocks. 
Pick up my jars. Because we definitely need jars. Um, I think that's all the things. It's gonna go into the furnaces. We gotta make sure the furnaces stay up and running. So cooking is the jars. Farming. I think I just have the seed. And I'm not sure where all the other stuff goes, so I just give that to Mr. Ross to take care of. And there's some books that you'll want to look at. It's going in the dump box. Okay. Alright, so next step is that we will look at the cooking. I have received water! And making hobo stew. And gumbo stew. Make some pumpkin pie. All right, and then we'll do some pumpkin bread. Oh, what else? Anything else here? I don't. I don't know that there is. I don't think I can do anything with this. No. Nope. I don't want an eggs. I ain't got no eggs. Alright. Uh, I'm going to eat that. And, uh, alright. Drop that off. I'm gonna take these jars down to the river. Hey, random Jen, how you doing tonight? Oh, yeah, like, Mistratch keeps our storage super-duper organized. He is amazing. Everything is, like, sorted and labeled, and it is not because of me. Do it out of self-preservation just so I can find anything. She brings back so much shit. <laughs> I mean, he does have a very nice system. He labels all the boxes. And they're sorted out by, like, what you use the stuff for. So when you go to do a thing, it's all the stuff for that thing tends to be all in one box. Very nice. Very nice. And then, because I am organizationally impaired, there are even some boxes that we call the dump boxes where I just come along and dump my inventory and go so I cannot mess up the organizational mojo. So that's what these boxes over here are. This is this is where the pig barfs stuff and then he can like sort it and put it into the magically perfect system. And then all these boxes are like super duper really awesome labeled so you can always find what you're looking for. It's great. All right, so now we have a whole bazillion waters. Um, and I'm going to make most of them into boiled water. But we're going to need glue as well. So I'll make like half of them into water. And then I'll make the other half of them into glue. Because we always need glue. That's not the box. It's the one over it. Um... Because if nothing else, I want duct tape so I can keep making crafting things. Uh, the repair kits. There's like a hundred of them in the repair. There's not a box for repair kits. Oh, is there an actual box for them? And this is why I didn't see them? Because I made some more.
I'm also the teen starter, and this looks perfect. <laughs> so you're you're totally vibing with his organizational system. All right, it's fair. All right, so there's one. Oh, yep, all by itself for repair kits. All right, I guess we had a bunch of repair kits, and I didn't need to make more. Um, but I guess we've got we got we got mores now. Because I I made mores. Because I was looking in the toolbox where they had been and didn't realize that they had their own magical spot. And, uh, oh, well, there's that. All right, so iron, you're going to go into here. And that's clay. And this is brass. Lead and clay. So this is brass. Lead. Lead. Uh, showerhead's iron, right? Yes. And then this is stone. And then the glass can go in here. We need sand and clay, which is what rock and right for sand. Yes. All right, so the furnaces are up and running again, mm -hmm. and we can. Why can I not write on this? I thought I was just supposed to write. I'm doing something yeah. wrong. It might be locked. Oh, okay. I was just gonna just make the lock noise. And my... try to use it. To... It makes a noise. Yeah. Um... Where I place the sign probably is locked by default. Oh, okay. As I said, I was just gonna mark that this was uh, the one that we did for jars, which was sand and clay. So I need to put rock and clay in it. And that way we can keep things. Will not make sand. This one makes sand? No, rock will not make sand. If you want sand, you have to put the rock in the cement mixer. Oh, wow. Glass makes sand, and sand makes sand into the furnaces, but not rocks. I put it in here. Yes. Crushed sand. Mixing. All right. Okay. You can tell that I do not do the majority of the cooking stuff. <laughs> well, hello there, Ahilk. <laughs> there is a redeem for that. <laughs> and welcome to the Dazzle. I had to put a redeem on the singing, otherwise I would be doing it non-stop. And I promise y'all don't want a whole four-hour stream of me just singing. All right, and then I need that, and this goes to the crafting mats. And I can't make any more plots right this second, so I won't bring up the plot stuff. But I do have a few seeds. Oh. Like, lovely weather we're having. <laughs> I mean, not that it really matters, but, you know, just look. I don't remember what the horde cycle is set on here. I think it's standard, but I'm not sure. It's been long enough since... We do this one infrequently enough, I'm not sure. Right? Yeah, that's where I'm at. Well, you have a good night there, Cookie. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us today. I find that 
most groups of players that play together for a lot, you know, a lot of games or play a particular game together a lot, end up in like set roles. And we have definitely done that. I mean, it's nice because then when you come on, you know exactly what you're going to do and you know what your responsibilities are and you don't have to like get overly complicated about it. You're just like, yeah, this is the thing. This is the thing that I do. All right. Let me take a look at my... Is that six... not a happy noise. That sounds like a bear outside. That's six points. I'm going to... Spin some of those. Um, that one I need level 10. All right, so we'll make my armor a little bit. Hey, Zim, how you doing? Sorry you missed the beginning of the stream. I was paying. Ah, don't worry about it, Zim. I understand that there are things in life other than, you know, watching us streamers yammer out into the darkness. <laughs> All right, guys, it's time. And I, you know that I always like seeing what you paint and, and all your arty stuff, so. Yeah, we love that. All right. Okay, guys, this, this is the gyrocopter. You were attempting to paint a night sky sunset. Oh, those are tough. So, I can't do it. You have it locked. Oh, shit. Okay. Just I'm off the hook. <laughs> I'm going to say it's time. It's time to take the maiden flight. Where are you at? I am at the snow biome. Uh. Oh, you're like, oh, way away. All right, so while I'm waiting for him to come back to unlock that... And it's that, really hard to fly at night anyway, so I would suggest to... I will look and see our learning box here. Um, I'm going to assume that everything you've put in here, you've already learned. Yep. Because there's, like, patterns and stuff here, so... You get, like, experience and stuff from learning patterns, so... We tend to do learning the patterns for everybody before we sell any of the repeats. That way you can get the experience bump from it. Nice, it's there's not a lot she's of... She's actually going to make any of the things that she's no, going to do. No, no, I, I totally will not. All right, so I've got a couple treasure maps. Those are like digging quests. Taking a crash course, kinda. I watched one artist on YouTube who I learned a few tricks from. Yeah, YouTube is amazing. There's so many things that you can learn on YouTube. I've learned a lot about crochet, painting, all kinds of stuff on YouTube. All right, so I will have to wait until the next time to do the... whole, uh... Gyrocopter. Shucks, my, my heart is busted. So I'm gonna go look at this treasure map! And hey, Uthgar, how you doing? Scott Christian Saval. He's super good at painting characters and he inspired me to try to do watercolor. Woohoo, that's cool. I love it when you find somebody who is excited about teaching and does a good job teaching and also is teaching something you want to learn. Oh, 
Oh, this is cool. I'll stop and put that in my pocket. And you get to where you bang on these rocks enough that you just know what they look like. Like, which the different ones look like. But sometimes I find that coal and the regular rock still look enough alike that I don't always immediately tell. But like this one here, this one's iron. It's got that red-brown color going on in it. I'm not doing well. I just learned that you failed nursing school. Oh no, Uthgar. Like, are you completely out of the program or just have to take more time? Main thing that he taught me was that I had to tape down the paper. I didn't realize how bad paper can wrap with water. Yeah. Yeah, prepping your watercolor paper can go a long way to getting a better um, final product. I don't feel like I should be going up a mountain for this. I feel like I need to go around the mountain. So I'm going to try that. There's this nifty thing called a map. That kind I of did. I was idea, looking right? at the map, and I think this <laughs> takes you to the house on the hill. So I think that that, I need to go around. Yeah, that will take you to the house on the yeah. hill. Yeah. So I think once I got up onto that road and it explored the map for me, I was like, no, I think this is, I think this is the, the map, that, the, the, the mountain for the house on the hill. It still wraps a bit, but it's much better than it completely curving. Yeah. And higher quality watercolor paper will do it less than the lower quality paper. And there's some like, um, gessos and stuff that you can put on it to help with that. But in general, you're going to get some wimpling of the paper just because you get it wet. I mean, and you know I gotta stop and put these cars in my pocket. Do some general looting on the way by, you know, I just can't leave it alone. I mean, we just would have nothing ever in the base if I didn't just put all this stuff in my pocket compulsively, I'm sure of it. It justifies all of my bizarre hoarding behaviors. Mm -hmm. Justifies an interesting choice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, it makes perfect sense to hoard everything in sight, you know? That way, when I say I need a thing, you just always have the stuff already. We don't have to go collect it first. You're just good to go! Because we've hoarded in advance. When they talk about hoard nights, I don't think that's quite what they have in mind. No, are you sure? Because that that's exactly what hoarding is about. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm awake. Thanks, Sim. I mean, I don't think that I was, you know, fading or anything, but if there was any question, I'm awake now. This is also where I get the majority of my gasoline, so, you know, it's fine. I just take these cars apart, and then I get the gasoline that goes in my pocket, and then I then refill my, my, my bike with. Alright, so this one's iron. Ah, oh, it's thirsty work. Let's have a coffee. Because, well, coffee makes everything better, guys. You know it does. Ah, uh, let's get this dog. Oh, I apparently don't have any ammo. That's awkward. Yeah. 
Oh, my furry will send you back home so you can get some. That was sketchy! Like, I don't have any ammo in either of my guns. That's awkward. I'm unprepared! Luckily, I had melee weapons on the ready. Alright, um... <laughs> it sort of worked! <laughs> I was killing him so we could get the meat so we could cook with it. It was not going as easily as I thought it would because I thought that I had ammo. <laughs> killing a wolf with uh, just your melee weapons when you think that you have ranged. It's just like, oh, oopsie. We will not be taking on the cat. We'll just drive by the cat. Because I already have an abrasion, a concussion, I have an infection of one and a half percent, and I sprained my wrist, all because I had no ammo. I was not prepared! Ugh. I am also having issues driving. We'll leave that wolf alone. Somebody set off a landmine. Okay, so it looks like the place I'm trying to head was actually back there. Yeah, I totally got this. It's just my club. Yeah, I'm gonna conquer the world. Clubbing one animal at a time. It's totally fine. <laughs> Gas up and pocket my bike. Oh no, I forgot to empty my bike. Oh, I can't pocket my bike. Well, maybe you'll have some ammo you can use on it. No, sadly, there's not. Wah wah. Wah wah wah. I thought there was a second node, but now I'm only seeing one node. Oh, there it is. It's behind the snowdrift. It just nestles right here in the snow. I almost didn't see it. I don't even have any healing on me either. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just like out here in the wild, risking all the things. Alright, so it looks like up in this area, so it's probably going to be easier to do on foot. Yep, definitely easier to do on foot. Alright, so this is a pretty big digging area. That's what this yellow circle is. And At least just dig. That's when you can kind of cheat. Don't dig deep, just dig surface, because all the snow is going to be a one-shot, and it'll fairly quickly be able to close down your circle. Yeah. I do that in general, just close my circle, but it's nicer when it's snow, because it shovels so much faster. Because after you do a, a, a certain number of shovels, it will shrink ten. your circle in. Base. Is it ten? Yeah. I've never counted. I just knew that there was a magic number. And then we can use the snow in our cooking. So, you know, it's not like it's totally useless that we're collecting it either. And when you collect, when you shovel dirt, it gives you the clay that is also a useful material. So this is kind of a double 
We're doing a quest and we're getting some materials that we can use in crafting, so it's it's useful. That's what I tell myself. I mean, I don't know how accurate that is, you know, but I tell myself it's useful because you could use them in crafting. Oh crap. There's a wandering oh, horde coming. And if I leave this area, I'm going to fail the quest. I have no ammo! No, nah, it doesn't really matter with those. They do the same, but you should be quiet. They're not likely to come up the hill at you. Yeah, because yeah, being quiet is quiet. what I'm really good at. There's definitely... Well, luckily, your real-life noises don't translate into game noises, or you really would be screwed. Right? I would be so screwed in this game. I would be attracting all the zombies if it, like, picked up my mic and translated it. Whew. That would make a game so much harder. Just stab them with what my gun, right? There... Pistol with them! There was one that did that. I mean, that would make a game so much harder if you had your microphone it on. Cause I want to say it was one that was on the PlayStation that used the camera and the, the mic on that that added in two things, but I don't remember what game it was now off the top of my head. That would make it so much harder to play a zombie game that actually, like, recorded and paid attention to your sound and made an effect on the game. So if a zombie surprised you and you screamed, it had in-game consequences? Hmm. Oh my goodness, that would be tough. I love it. Somebody should do that. I would play that game. And I would be screwed if I was playing that game while streaming because I would be like nonstop talking. <laughs> I'd be like, guys, guys, we can't be social today. I'm playing this deadly game. This game that will punish me for talking. <laughs> and you have to have to add the, the reverse uh, redeem rather than mute for five minutes, must talk for five minutes. And... Right? <laughs> be chatty for five minutes. Like I have ever needed that redeem. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it would. It would make it a thing. <laughs> I think that's funny. The stream of consciousness redeem something. Oh, goodness. Ain't nobody want to hear my stream of consciousness. I mean, who am I kidding? That's what people most often get from me. It's just this random, random shit that goes on in my head, comes out of my mouth. It's like, here you go. I thought it. You can have it. This is yours now. Do with it what you will. Oh, where did my circle go? You dug it down enough that it just shows you exactly where the treasure is? That's what the mark on your map is? The mark on my map? Yeah. The treasure box under your feet. Oh, I just... Oh, I guess I've never... Once I've you never, dig to a certain point, I've it gives you the location to the box. I've never actually done well enough on these. Usually something comes along and ganks me, and I fail these. Well, There's a you ghost fail a game map, but, uh... that the more you talk, the more likely it will attack you. Oh, it does work that way in Phasmophobia? Nice. Yeah. I mean, I've played it a little bit, but not a whole lot. Oh, this one's locked. They always are on a treasure map. I, again, I don't do these. You usually do them. <laughs> exactly. I was like, oh, I'll do them. Five minute action fan silence, so I can't be quiet for five minutes. <laughs> I'm really pretty sure oh, that that's not something <laughs> that uh, we we have a problem with at this point in time. But I'll 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 ah I'll do I'll do the thing. Let me get you in the knees here. Uh, I get just like yeah, take this, buddy. Take that. Pound you in the butt. Yeah. Okay, you turn around. I'll pound you there. Yeah, take that. <laughs> oh, look at him. Look at him. Guys, like, he's got our googly eyes sticking out. I, I I don't know that I've ever noticed that before. That's something. Oh, you're yes, testing it out. Yes, that model in particular. Huh? Yes, that model in particular yeah. is the one that they've done the most. That it's their test stuff. Yeah, he's got, like, guy. a googly eye popping out. I don't... Yeah, I don't... it has different weird animations. <laughs> and, like, that's one that when you do can limb them better and that so lose parts of arms and such it's it's something i i do think that i appreciate the eye poking out though there's something very uh gratifying about it we'll go with that gratifying 
No, don't be, don't be screaming at me and coming in my hole. You were not invited to my hole. Bugger off. This is my hole. But of course, banging on this box is making lots of noise, which is going to start attracting zombies. Because I am the queen of the dorks and didn't bring anything to pick the locks. I have to like do the whole bang on the box until it opens. So, yay noise. And I'm just going to stuff all this meat in my face. Yes, give me all the meat! Because I'm super hungry, and also it's the only item that I have that will do any healing, so I'm just gorging on the meat! Just, just stuff it in the face! And in this game, it's not snake snacks, but now, because of all the chaos gaming, I literally look at the grilled meat and think snake snacks. It's, it's snake meat, right? It's gotta be. <laughs> Totally, totally gotta be, like, snake meat, because that's, that's what grilled meat is. It's always 100% made out of snake. Oh my goodness, this box is only about half dead, and I feel like all I have done is bang on it for an eternity. And thank you for the support. We really appreciate it. P-Kentrell, you are amazing. Two months. Woohoo! You are an orange may. Yeah, you keep it up. Thank you. Oh, I I do. I have an Otis redeem. I didn't see that. All right, Otis has been summoned. Let's. Oh, thank you, Anonymous. We really appreciate that. You are amazing. Thank you so much. And hopefully, the zombies won't eat me as Otis comes out to talk to you. Well, Hello. Hello, hello everybody! Thank you for the cakes, Zim. I very much appreciate it. I eat all the cakes. Nom 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 nom. Bring on the worship! Yay! Because I am the most amazing pig ever! Thank you, thank you, thank you, Zim. You are awesome. Guys, you are all awesome. Give me a hoof bump. Boop! Stay amazing! Yeah! All right, so that's why, you know, little guy <laughs> who whose ego is very secure. <laughs> I mean, he's definitely convinced that he is the god of all the pigs. <laughs> hey, look, just up the hill from you, up the mountain, there's a bear. Um, I am not ready to take on a bear. I have nothing. I have no thing, no things to take a bear with doesn't change the fact that the bear's there. Uh, he could just stay right up there. Him and I will get along. There's a wolf right there. Yeah, you got all kinds of wildlife around here. I do. Who is the best pig? Hide Charlotte's web book under her rug. <laughs> Otis would take that and, like, everywhere it says that <laughs> Wilbur is the best pig and, and write Otis in instead. <laughs> He's a write-in. He got the pig's name wrong. All right. We got the treasure. All right. I'm gonna go back to my where, bike. Where are you going? Huh? Well, you don't need your bike. Oh, I suppose you have a... I, my, my inventory is full. Are you That's gonna fine. ride my bike back? Sure. All right, so guys. So. If it wasn't locked, I would. The maiden flight of questionableness. Oh my goodness. All right. I do not know how the controls of this work. I flew one once, ages and ages ago. Oh, space. Pitches you up. See, pitches you down. All right, we're in the air. Oh, okay, we you've are. Way too much. We are in the air. And we're not in the air. Now. Bring your nose down. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> okay. Let's back up and try that again. Ugh, except driving a thing on the ground is a bitch. <laughs> well, I'm definitely not going to get a good takeoff trying to go uphill. It definitely doesn't like to move on the ground. No, no, it doesn't. It's like, I got this, really. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, let's, let's. Oh, does it just not turn? It doesn't turn for shit. No, it doesn't turn for shit. 
Alright! Okay. Well, okay. Wait, wait, wait! Uh, okay, guys, we're gonna. Face, face. There you go, okay. but not too much. No, 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 I hit the tree! See? I hit the tree! Ah, nose down, nose down, nose down, see? nose down. We got this. See? Nose down, okay. but you have to keep oh, the power no. going oh, forward. Oh, nope. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is why I don't drive this thing. I'm stuck on this rock, it's fine. Okay! So, I will, I will make it home in this. Or I will blow it up. Okay, C, C, C. No, no, ah! Or I will run out of gas. But you guys can be entertained with me trying to drive however long that lasts. Okay, nose down, nose down, and... Okay, I have no idea where home is. This way, I think. Okay. Let's level ourselves out now. We're up pretty high. Okay. I don't think we'll crash into the mountains now. If you uh, left click, it'll let you change your camera so it's more centered rather than... Uh... So when you turn your mouse, it'll kind of turn your nose a little bit. Okay, I'm going to bring the landmines. Alright, get up higher than this. Oh, oh, nose down, nose down. Let's not crash into the mountain or or flip ourselves over. And it's gotta be, you know, kind of a happy medium here. And there's the house on the hill that I was talking about. For those of you who do not know, it is a big mansion on the hill. Look, look, glorious mountain. Hill, house. Yes, yes. I think that's the house on the hill. It is now because I said so. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going towards the bed. That's home base. Let's hope there's enough gas and I don't like drop like a rock. I mean, I got 99% uh durability so it's all good i got 81 percent gas so that's a good quantity just don't hit e and you'll be fine e is what eat myself out yes oh yeah no don't be eating myself out at least they fixed the old it used to be if you eated yourself out at a height the gyrocopter did not fall from the sky it just stayed there oh that's that awkward. was always awkward oh there's the hospital it's got a helo pad. We could totally it land does. there and get swarmed. You, you can. Oh, no, yeah. thanks. Oh, There's not likely to be anybody there. Oh, have you cleared it out? So we just did a horde night there a couple nights ago. Yes. Oh, that's right. This one has the horde night there, the horde base. Um, I flew. We need to fly this way to get to the base. Yes, I'm now at the base. Wait. I am so like ah! Everything looks so different. I don't know where I'm going. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Ah! Too much. No, we're losing. We're losing. Ah! Pfft. Ah! Well, okay. Ah! Pfft. Eh. We should land in a fairly flat spot. That's something. Ah. Mm hmm. Okay. And apparently my bed is at the Horde base, so I did, in fact, go where my bed was. Oh, well, there That's you go. That's just not what we needed. <laughs> well, I am at the main base, so... I was going to say, uh, the, the, the base is apparently this other icon. Uh, that we can go there. That's that's good. Okay. Wait. No. No. Ah! Boom. Ah! Oh, no, that's way ah. too far down. No! Ah! Let's see. Oh, that, that, no. That's too much. Ah! <laughs> All right, I think I need to get out and move this because I am now stuck in a corner. Inventory is full. Let's cut down the tree. Oh, no, no. Why are we I cutting... know your inventory is strong. Right, but if you put it on the vehicle, then you can't pick up the vehicle. No, no, I was scrapping something. And at first I thought I meant its inventory, but it's my inventory this yes. fall. All right, and then because I can just pick up my little gyrocopter and put it—the whole thing—in my pocket, guys. It, 
it's fine. Now we're gonna try this as a runway. Okay? Okay? <laughs> all right, all right. Yes, Stax, the pig is questionably using the gyro because I promised that if the gyro was made, I would fly it once on stream. So they get to watch me miserably fly this thing. Doing, doing a great job. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah! Well, I guess you made it back home. <laughs> except your base. Thanks on the base. You delivered the gyrocopter back. Yeah. He's like, you're doing a great job. And then I crash and die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because you picked <sighs> You had great timing. You get to see the gloriousness that is me flying the gyrocopter. There you go, my friends. That's the best thing you've seen. Well, I'm glad that I made your night. <laughs> Maybe I need to do a gyrocopter redeem. <sighs> Make that a thing that you guys can spend cakes to, <laughs> to watch me crash the gyrocopter. Come on, you. Woohoo! I even get a ride home! <laughs> oh, goodness. That, that could have gone better. Yeah, their they're landing and takeoffs are a little small. But, uh, yeah, you came in way too down. Too uh, hard. <laughs> yeah, I did. I, I went way, way down too much. Hello, that egg boy. How you doing? Welcome. Let me, let me give you a little shouty shout. Let's see what you were up to. <laughs> You're quite pig. happy with this clip? <laughs> when pigs fly. <laughs> oh, when pigs fly. Oh, no. <laughs> well, the thing I do now, now that your back is to uh, go like unlock the gyrocopter or put it in the vehicle's box or something because I can't do anything with it right now. Oh. So it looks like you were playing God of War. How did your stream go? And hello, Melon Seed. Welcome. How are you doing tonight? And hey, at least the gyrocopter did not explode. No, no. When I, I hardcore crashed it, because whew, that would have been double rough. It is now unlocked. You can access the gyrocopter. I, I have met my obligation. Oh, goodness. And you emptied out my bike. Nice. Pick up first aid. Pick up ammunition. Yeah, right? Pick up Hello, that egg boy. So how'd your stream go? It looked like you were playing God of War. How did that go? It looks like you already picked up the sand. All right, so I don't put rock in here. Because this was the one that we were using to make jars. So it's clay, clay, and sand. And you should be able to edit the sign now as well. Clay and sand, cool. You had to reset halfway because of the challenge. Whew. You know that it's rough when you're just like, okay, back up. At least most of the games now let it so that you can adjust them. So that's a bonus. Uh, doesn't look like I actually have a lot of my inventory that's gonna go into these this time. I need stone into this one. Okay. 
Looks like you didn't harvest your mushrooms when you harvested your other earth. They're ready to be harvested again, I guess. Oh, no, I forgot all about the mushrooms. I didn't even look at them. I forgot they existed. It being an old game, it makes it extremely unforgiving. Yeah. Yeah, the older games are definitely more difficult. They've gotten kinder to us as they've gone along. Okay, guys, we're, we're going to have some ammo now. Get my guns loaded, because that was a kerfuffle. Refill on my coffee. Get another stack of food. Alrighty. Alright, let's go see how our cooking is doing. It's probably going to barf stuff in my inventory. Oh, no, it looks like no, Miss Roch has already attended to it. Excellent. I got some water now so I can do some of the beverages that I didn't have the water for before. So let's make some of them. Oh man, I was staring at my inventory. I'm like, I know what's in here. Where is it? Okay, I'm pretty sure that is on the... Yeah, Yucca Juice is here. Oh, nope. It's the smoothie. I always get this messed up. What does this smoothie take? Oh, we definitely have blueberries, so let's do the smoothie instead. That is a better beverage. I mean, I can only make four, but it's better than nothing. All right, and then I think that I can make some beer with these hops. Yep. So we'll get that firing up. I go through coffee like there's no tomorrow, so I always make coffee first. Because it's the one that helps with mining. Alright, so that's the cooking. And apparently I forgot to harvest the mushrooms, so... I think they're on the side of the building here. Yeah, we're on the area where your plants are cropped. Yeah. I got one, it looks. Yep. Oh, baby. The, the, the mushrooms. The mushrooms. There's so many of them. That whole one. But that gave us six crop. That's more than we had just a few minutes ago. Gives you enough to make one more seed, I believe. I mean, we can make a seed out of it, or I can just cook it. Because it's a net loss, man. It... Find it's like an uphill, okay. uphill battle. Yeah, with the last changes to... Yeah, the last changes is... just made it rough. I think that they nerfed cooking a little bit too much. I do think that the cooking needed to be nerfed. Um, it, it was kind of OP. And it got to a point where you could just cook and, like, not have to worry about anything. And I think that was, like, more than intended and I think more than, than is good for the game. But I think they've gone to the other extreme now where... There are a bunch of hop flowers in first aid. And I'm realizing that I might have taken all of your... If you had first aid, that was supposed to be on your bike. No, oh, that's fine. I don't know what I had on my bike. I don't know. I just I, I didn't I have anything like a whole lot of hot first aid stuff. Something it. like it. 
Alright. Alright, so I got the aloe cream going. And then after that, it's his job to make the first aid stuff. Because I don't have the points to do the different things. I just uh, cook the aloe and make the cream so it's on the crafting table. Okay. And I will take the hops. And I will make some beer. I still have some murky water left. Oh. Yeah, because I cannot make beer, so... Yeah, I think I, the, the hops should just stay in cooking, so I remember to make it for you. Because I don't tend to look at the first aid. <laughs> Alright, I think that's all the stuff that I need to do here. Um, now that I've, like, you know, plummeted to my death from the sky, <laughs> I guess I should go say hello to the trader and, um, I have another treasure map. I can do that. How about I do that? If I'm gonna go do that, though, I want some lockpicks. I think those are under tools. Lockpick, uh, or there are the, uh, time charges and the explosives. I don't see any in tools. Oh, there's an upgraded steel shovel for me. I'm loving it. Definitely get that bad boy in my pocket. Um, and it looks like I've already got all the other things. Uh, the best that we have. Same. You can't. Can you make any of the pocket mods? Uh, it looks like I have the clothing mod. Okay, you can do those now. I because I found that for both the regular pocket, and how, double pocket. How many double pocket armor mods could you use? Um. I don't remember which... Oh, I don't need them. Oh, your strength all finished out? I okay. have the strength stuff. I don't need them okay. anymore. Okay, if you've got pack meal maxed out. Great. And I can take off some of the pocket mods that I have on. So if you want a pocket mod, I can take some off and you can use the ones that I have. Don't care. Because, gee, now that I have pack meal... I mean... I don't know if you need the clothing pocket mod either, but let's see what I got. The things that I put on and then I forget about and and it doesn't help that I'm not consistently playing the game. You should look at the armor box as well. Cause I know there are the tier six steel gloves in there. It looks like okay. You're wearing. Two levels below that. Alright. Alright, well, there's all the pocket mods that will be not helping me, so might as well. And then. Where is the armor? Cooking, farming, first aid, plants, house goods, forge, vehicle, electronics, building, crafting, food, drink, candy, ammo, ammo, armor. Yeah, that's totally an upgrade. Thank you. I think that I'm all into steel now. No, I need steel legs. And then I'll be into all steel. Doesn't look like there's any steel legs in the box, though. Steel boots are level 5, though. That's better than...
I already have that. Bullet tips do not belong in the mod box. Uh, burning shaft. What do I have on here? Uh, it looks like I already have a chain. I don't think you can have both. You never ending like, I don't know. All right, I think that I'm mostly upgraded. Okay, now. Whoop. Gonna go do the whole digging the dirt thing for the other treasure chest. Oh, I got distracted by armor and didn't pick up the box breaking into stuff. There's always something. I'm telling you guys, it is so easy for my brain to get onto one thing and get distracted and forget, like, the whole list of things that I'm supposed to be doing. Okay. Now, now we have get into the box explosives. Which are way more satisfying than get into the box with picks or with a pickaxe. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I I really love using the explosives. <laughs> I delight in seeing things go boom. It's definitely safer to see things go boom in a video game than real life. I can't get distracted and delete myself because I forgot some important safety step in a video game. I mean, not like permanently delete myself the way you can in real life. So don't just, I just don't. <laughs> Your PSA kids don't play with explosives. Yes. Do not play with explosives. I have very important and valuable PCAs, you know, PSAs. PSAs? PSAs. Some letters. My letters are good. You guys like my letters. You play four explosives? So oh, okay. I love fireworks and all of that. It's just it's it's just so I don't know, satisfying. I could probably have gone into a demolitions career and been a very happy individual, but you know, different, different life choices. However, that is not one of the ones that they flagged me for when I did the like, I don't know, there's some screening thing that you take that will tell you like what jobs in the military you would be good at. They flagged me for like being a sniper or being a medic. <laughs> so it wasn't one of the ones they thought that I would be good at. And demolitions is definitely a military job. So maybe, maybe, maybe I wouldn't have been good at it. Maybe, maybe I would have like blown up half think. myself. I don't know. ADHD and explosives just seem like a bad, bad combination. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. I mean, you know, I just... I go back to, at least in a video game, I can't, like, delete myself from a moment of inattention. I'll let you know, fireworks are not very effective in cooking marshmallows. <laughs> also, the marshmallows are gritty from the black powder. <laughs> it sounds like you might be a kindred spirit and that that might not be good for you. <laughs> I go back to my, my my public service announcements, guys. Don't play with explosives. This is how people lose fingers and hands. Very regular, lar, lar, lar. <laughs> I'm letting you know from experience. Yep, you definitely sound like a kindred soul. <laughs> Oh, 
Uthgar, are you in America? Oh, wait, no, it's Uthgar. We talked about this last time. Uthgar. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's a ooh going on. You're Uthgar. You're in America. Well, the rules for fireworks are very different in different parts of the world. So I was just curious uh, what, what degree of, of shenanigans you were engaging in with your marshmallow cooking. I am an American for better or much worse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's definitely um, been sketchy around here. I mean, I don't think that America is like a hellhole or any of that, but I do think that there are a lot of areas that America could do better. Definitely think we could be doing better. On a lot of fronts. And there's just so much denial of like, oh, we're the greatest nation. Like, with what measuring stick? I mean, just screaming that you are doesn't make it true. Stop. Huh. <sighs> The measuring stick is their deck under a magnifying glass. <laughs> it feels that way some days. <laughs> that it isn't really about being good, it's just about looking good and being tough and the dick measuring. Yeah, definitely, it definitely feels that way some days. A lot of days, I won't lie. Hello, Beto Gaming! How are you doing? <laughs> I love how all my murder hobos have to, like, come in and be, like, on my not mischief days and come in and be like, Hey, I'm thinking about killing you by doing some kind of mischief command or pimp point command. I love it. <laughs> it's great. Don't worry, you can kill me tomorrow. Mischief engaged tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, Stax, that teleport. Oh my gosh. <laughs> teleport was crazy. What? I was just looking how much points I save up. I wasn't planning something or anything. No, of course you weren't. You were just. You were just glorifying over your pile of, of murder points, and I'm sure you were not imagining the murder that you could cause with said points. <laughs> of course not. Who would do something like that? <sighs> I'm not even wearing your murder robot. <laughs> <laughs> Must be in the closet today because I'm not wearing my murder hobo hat either. I almost feel like I should now make a murder hobo hat, but I don't well, know what, what a murder it, hobo hat I don't know like, what it would look like. What does a murder hobo hat look like, guys? But I kind of want right? a murder hobo hat now, like to add to my hat collection. Who needs poverty points <laughs> when I have paid <laughs> to win points? <laughs> yeah, Stax, you definitely did. I, I man, you bought those bits and I, I was like, oh God, he's so gonna kill me now. He's so gonna cause me so much pain. You caused me a little bit of pain that day, but I didn't forget that you have them. A home on fire? 
As long as it includes a wiggly mustache, it would be good. Okay, so my murder hobo hat has to have a hat. That, I mean, I, a mustache attached to the hat. Just, just a mustache? Or should it have, like, a beard, too? Hmm. The choices that we gotta make. I, I'm still digging, and I can see it. Guys, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm talking, and I'm just digging. Alright, explosions. Here we come. <laughs> you weren't gonna say anything. A redhead beard? Ha 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 ha! next community challenge that the which was you getting to watch you make your murder hobo hat <laughs> i mean you could put that in as a suggestion i have an ongoing uh suggestion request in my discord currently looking for ideas for the next community challenge so if you guys have ideas i definitely want to know first time ever i'm actually seeing demo charged being used <laughs> I mean, if I have the option of doing something with an explosion, I'm definitely going to do it with an explosion. Like, why would we use picks when I can, like, blow it open properly? Like a good heathen. <laughs> Everything's better with explosives! I wish they were more satisfying when you stuck them to zombies. I never even thought about sticking it to a zombie. It's not satisfying, <laughs> but now no. I kind of want to do it. Now, now I got to find a zombie to stick a charge on just to see what happens. I mean, even going into it, knowing that it's not going to be satisfying, I need to know. All right, there's a road here somewhere. Get myself out here in the willy wax and lose all sense of direction. I know that surprises everybody. Hello there. Hi. Oh. I don't even know how to say that name. All right. I need I need to find a zombie now, guys. We're gonna we're gonna have to do the whole blowing up of a zombie. Let's not actually leave my bike on the ground. That would be awkward. Alright. I think I actually need to go the other direction to get towards town, which is where the zombies are more likely to be. So we can blow somebody up! Because now, now I, now I gotta do the thing. I gotta do it. Doesn't matter that it serves absolutely no functional purpose. Gotta do it. And I'm probably driving away from my other quest. Where is that? Oh no, that's just out in east. In the middle of nowhere. Ah. <sighs> gonna buy some food and snacks does anybody want something i mean snacks it's all about the snacks man like just life always surrounds the snacks oh turn around you leave some doritos yay doritos doritos are like the best chip they're amazing
I need a zombie. Guys, how can we blow up a zombie? Ah, here you are. There's a zombie. This will be my experimental zombie. <laughs> uh, that that is not as satisfying as it should be. It's but not very satisfying. It was very funny to see it stuck to her face. You can pick me up some Nutter Butters and some creamy Easter chocolate filled eggs. Oh man, Easter candy is the best candy. Like jelly beans are one of my favorites ever and they always have the best during Easter. All right, now that I've like wasted a few of my charges, I, I will get back to business. Uh, looks like we gotta go out this direction in the middle of nowhere to get to our next quest. And I will say that is one thing that's nice about having all of the things engaged is that I can say, I need a zombie! And somebody always, always provides. They're like, here you go, I'm a zombie! <laughs> like if you die in the middle of Horde Night and you want to reset it, you can be like, I need a zombie! And somebody, somebody will give you a zombie. It might not be the zombie you want, but you'll get a zombie. The zombie you want, but the zombie you need. Jelly beans is one of the reasons that I have trust issues? What? Why did jelly bamboozled, beans huh? cause you trust issues, Uthgar? It's probably the bamboozled jelly beans. What are bamboozled jelly beans? <laughs> and zombies you can trust. It's true. You really can. Are those the ones that are the gross flavors but look like regular ones? Those are the ones that you don't know. That it's the fucking chance. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, because there's definitely gross, gross jelly beans out there. I mean, so did, like, people give you the nasty beans and be like, here, it's tasty. I mean, I had candy in my work drawer once and people would, like, keep raiding it and, like, just eat them. So I did... I did engage in in some revenge by getting um, the jelly beans that were hot cinnamon jelly beans, and I mixed them with the uh, red jelly beans that were like sweet, and just put them in, in the thing. And and then when people stole my jelly beans without asking, they just like, Bleh. and I and I had no remorse. I mean, it's definitely better than taking the um, laxative gummy bears. I took a full handful of jelly beans and my mouth was burning because it was ghost pepper jelly beans. Oh my God. Habanero and jalapeno jelly beans all at once. Oh no, that's awful. That's like a whole different level of sin, okay? Like the cinnamon ones are enough to be like, whew, I didn't want that in my face. But they're not gonna, like, make your asshole burn for days. Like... Whew. No, Dad set it out in the kitchen seeing if I would eat them, and I put a whole handful right in my mouth, and it burned, especially when you suck it. Oh, my gosh. No! That's... That was... That was a lure trap. Sounds like a very successful lure trap. Oh, that's awful, though. Like, the jelly beans in your home should be... Tr should be safe! Jelly beans in your co-worker's desk you should stay out of, because you never know. But the, uh... How do you say it? Herbero? Jelly bean oh, brand? Has oh, a yeah. sugar-free... Jelly, uh, uh... Yep. Gummy bears. Right? Gummy bears. And they are a beautiful texture. They taste super good. But... But they will give you a bowel cleanse like nobody's business. It's for a lot of people. For the majority of people. There are the rare few who do not react to the particular type of alcohol sugar in it. And do not get a laxative effect. But for the majority of people, you will have regrets. And if you ever need a good 
laugh. Go to the Amazon website and look up the reviews for those gummy bears because, oh my god, it, they're so funny. Did you at least put some hot sauce in it to make it spicy? <laughs> no, I don't put any, I'm putting any hot sauce. It's just cinnamon. Cinnamon, 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 cinnamon. Just enough to be like, hey jerks, leave my leave my jelly beans alone. Leave my leave my stuff alone. Ask. Have some common courtesy. Now imagine he later mixed that with the regular ones, bamboozled but spicy. Oh yeah, that's that's not right. That's not rice at all. Sugar-free gummy bears, aka military grade <laughs> laxative. Have I tried them personally? Yes, I have. Um, I have used them as a laxative. <laughs> I will tell you, if consumed judiciously, they can have great medicinal benefit, and they taste much better than many other laxatives. <laughs> However, if you consume the whole bag, you you will have regrets. Just just don't eat the whole bag because they taste good. It is definitely one you want to stay into reasonable portions. And <laughs> having poor impulse control can definitely lead to regrets. When I worked on the uh, colorectal um, med surge unit, we had this running joke about how you can use these gummy bears as a bowel cleanse better than most of the medications that we give people. <laughs> yeah, that would be a total treat for coworkers. Just put out those those gummy bears and be like, you know, I'm gummy bears. Eat at your own risk, ha ha ha. <laughs> you have constipation. Here is a gummy medicine. Exactly. It's great. Just, you know, you gotta eat them mindfully. <laughs> like, one serving will do the job. Don't eat five. It's, you're gonna regret it. You're just, you're just gonna regret it. It's gonna be bad. Putting laxative inside the coffee creamer so you know who's been stealing it from you. Oh yeah, there, there's definitely been like lots of stories of people um, doing that kind of thing because people at work are like taking their stuff. Great, until your title finds a chart, right? Like, you, you definitely gotta be mindful of like anything that you're using as a medication. <laughs> like, don't, don't, don't put your 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 laxative anything where your kids can your kids can get it. That's for sure. Whether they're your gummy laxatives or your you know pill form, because whoo, I'd that run a kid wreck. But yeah, a good laugh is going to their reviews and reading the reviews of the gummy bears. I can't even tell you there's some of the best stories in there and some people it's like oh, i don't know if the stories are true i don't care they make me laugh so hard i periodically revisit because every now and again someone writes a new one and they all come down to the same basic story or two, really. One of them is, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what they were. I ate them and have regrets. Or, I am a saboteur and I put these out for X group of people and this is what ensued. Uh, 
Ah, oh, man. Getting these to line up with the wrench can be such a pain in the butt. Or, holy shit, this rep works! Yep. <laughs> and I love it when people are like, so I heard that these things are awful and can cause you to have a bowel cleanse, but I didn't believe. So I bought a five pound bag, ate the whole thing and waited to see what would happen. What? Why did you go like, like you can, you can test this without like going all in. You know, you don't have to like make sure that there's nothing left in your guts to know that it has laxative effect. I mean, some people really commit. They just, I'm five pounds. Let's do it. I can't even imagine. Whew. I guess I should kill the things trying to kill me before I wrench. Dude! Oh, I didn't grab any healing. Sponge sugar free gummy zombie. <laughs> ah! Shit! I'm in trouble now! <laughs> That's the stream you guys never wanted to see. I will say it's really quite peaceful to be able to like do my quests and feel fairly confident that I'll be able to complete them. Tomorrow, tomorrow I will not complete a single quest. And it's not unfortunate, it feels nice. <laughs> and you say that you're not on the Mischief Maker's side. Not at all. You're like, I'm totally an ally. <laughs> You don't have to tease us. <laughs> I don't know. You guys torment me enough, like, on the Mischief Nights. It seems only fair that I torment you a little bit back on the nights that you, you, you don't have murder power. However, I have to be careful because if I get too saucy, you guys are going to be, like, all-out murder mode. <laughs> Must be nice indeed. <laughs> yeah, on the Chaos Knights, I complete maybe one out of ten quests. Because they're like, oh, she started a quest. Let's let's engage with the murder hoboing. They definitely need to die now. <laughs> and I'm like, alright. There's that. So, Libido, how are you liking Diablo 4? I, I see that you've been playing it. Yes, you're doing a land your, party. Uh, your land party go. Do you still have that for another couple days? Or was or is, are you done with the land party stuff? I know you had a couple days, I think. I think, I think. Which is like a great way to spend a stretch of time off. 
Oh, it's pretty cool. Only played the beta, but it's giving a good vibe. Nice, nice. Glad that, that the first impression is good. I really liked Diablo 3. Um, I have not played any of the other Diablos, so I don't really have anything else to compare it to. Um... I did have some complaints with Diablo 3. I mean, it wasn't the perfect game. It was very um, re repetitious and murder hobo y. <laughs> Which, some days, man, that's what I was in the mood for. Let's like murder spree. These days, it's uh, destroy all humans that I do the murder spree on. But it didn't feel as like story and role playing involved as I would have liked for a role playing game. Yeah, having a blast with the land party, streaming it just wasn't really the content I expected putting out. So I'm doing a Thursday evening to even it out. Yeah, anytime you try something new on the stream, it's always like, I don't know how this is going to go. And you just got to try things out. D3 was a train wreck when it came out. Really has come a long way around. I didn't play it when it was first out. I don't think. Oh, I must have put my stuff in my bike. So, do I stand here and bust it? Or do I, like, I'm gonna go back and find my, like, explosives. I, they must be in my bike. I, I know I did not use them all in the zombie explosions. Did I, like, leap? I don't know. I don't know what I did. Are they my bike? Did I drop them at the house? If you don't try, you don't succeed, right? Hey, pretty much. You always gotta try new things. I played at launch party at a local game craft. Hardly anyone could play due to error 34. I don't know what error 34 is. And apparently I do not have my explosive charges with me. Rip. I'm so good at like only bringing half the things that I want to bring with me with me. Play. I will say I've gotten better with that since y'all have been murder hoboing me because, man, if I'm not mindful of the, the healing and stuff, I definitely get nerfed. Was a server connection issue, so most just hit the bars? Ugh. That sounds less than awesome. Um, I started playing it shortly before, I think, shortly before the expansion came out is how I remember it. That means I if mean, I'm going to We got it when it came out, but then you didn't like playing on the PC. And right. We picked it up quite a bit later on the Yeah, I was going to say, because I don't think I ever really played it on the PC. I think that it wasn't until we got it on the PlayStation that I started playing. Which I think was quite a bit later. Yeah. Yeah. And it was definitely for a while my game to come home to, like after a clinical 12 hour shift and all the high stress, I would just like come home and like fall asleep to murder hoboing. <laughs> Even the zombies after coworkers, you know. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes that happens. You know, sometimes you just gotta name the zombies after your coworkers. It's very therapeutic. I recommend it, 10 out of 10. This season is definitely an overpowered send-off season. That doesn't surprise me. I mean, that's what a lot of, uh, of end of the line is. You just escalate everything and go crazy because you're not sustaining it anymore, so it doesn't matter. I will say that what I have seen of Diablo 4 looks more to me like Diablo 2 than 3. 
visually. And whether or not that's a good or a bad thing, I guess, depends on who you ask. Uh, there better be something good in you. It never feels like it's worth it, though. Nope. Nope, it does not. I mean, it's a book I didn't have, so that's something. But I always feel like, oh, I just, like, spent a, a day and a half busting into this, and it is all for naught. I need to eat some things, and... Uh, looks like I can come up here and... The skill tree is very limited at the moment, so I hope they improve on that. It really feels pigeonholed. Oh, that's too bad. I like it when they give you a lot of flexibility with your character customization. But I imagine that can be hard to pull off well. I mean, I don't make games. I don't know. Some reviews call the skill tree a skill twig, and it sounds about right. Oh, that's that's too bad. We don't like skill twigs. Yeah, because, like, Don't Starve Together just introduced a skill tree, and I feel like that is, is more like a skill twig. <laughs> Because it's just over time, you you can get these things and you can get better, but like pretty much everybody's going to end up the same when they all have all the points. So it's just a matter of what you get first rather than how you choose to develop your character. So I didn't feel like it was what I wanted from a skill tree. like. I want a skill tree to be like seven days to die where you have to make actual choices because you're not going to get all the things and how oh, you oh. make those decisions will dictate like what your character is good at and what it's not good at and what role you kind of play in the party. I mean, you can get all the things. I, I, I've never seen it. I mean, I suppose I've if you it. played long <laughs> enough. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I stand corrected. You you can get all the things, but it's, it's not in the level three hundred ish. You know, I was gonna say, but it's generally level. not it's something that's gonna happen. It's it's like ridiculously end game. Hey, yes. girl boss, how you doing? So there's a lot of impact in the choices that you make in your skill tree, and I think that that's how a skill tree should be. Or don't bother having one. D2 skill tree was brutal in that way. Misclick at level 80 and mess up bad. No take backsies. Yeah. I mean, I think that don't... I mean, I think that uh, Seven Days to Die has a nice compromise to it. In that there is a way to reset it if you want to respend and allocate your points. But there's still distinct limitations and distinct separation of, like what you're good at and what you're not good at so your point spending does matter so i mean i do like that balance glad to hear that you're doing well girl boss is this the game is this the game with the sh the she's oh the snakes um that is not today tomorrow is the one where you can murder me in Today we're playing on, it is the same game, but it doesn't have the Twitch integration and the mischief enabled in this. We're playing on the coffee oh. shop server tonight. Hey, look, you did have more mushrooms. It was just on a different face of the building. Oh, really? Yep, there are four mushroom plants on this. I'm just randomly growing mushrooms everywhere. So it appears. <laughs> Dang it, you were, you were looking forward to murdering me, huh? Tomorrow, you can murder me tomorrow, guys. 
I think this happens every time I play on the coffee shop server instead of the uh, mischief server. The disappointment runs rampant. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've misplaced my mushrooms. I was like, I thought I had more. Well, apparently I do in fact have more. They're just in a different part of the building than I thought they were. <laughs> Apparently, I'm just willy-nilly with where I plant the mushrooms. That doesn't particularly surprise me. Especially since I only play this, like, once a month. It's like... I, I, I very easily get confused and lost in what we were doing. <laughs> and where I was putting stuff and all of that. my booms. So I just have to see her bang, because I have no boom. Just mark it and leave it to get it later, right? Then? No, because I'm I'm pre-clearing for the quest. Ah, well, you just don't get that this time. But there could be something really good in it. There could be something epic in there. And could I'll be never... Like, Here's six rocket launcher, but... Right, and I'll never know if I don't bust the bad boy oh, open. No. Yeah. It will it will haunt me forever. I'll I'll say what if what if what if if I don't bang it. But I would really rather I could boom it. It sounds like something that I would do. Yeah, it does. That is like my mo. I'm good at like losing track of where I put stuff, leaving things behind, not planning ahead. Yep. Executive dysfunction for the win. If it's not, like, something that I do, like, all the time, it is not a sure bet that I will have any kind of planning skills whatsoever or organizational skills. And even when things that I do all the time, I have to stay, like, very rigid in the way that I do it in order to, like, stay functional. We'll go with functional. <laughs> and I know that that means I could drive my coworkers nuts because they'll be like... You should have flexibility in what order you do things and blah, blah, blah. And I'll be like, guys, guys, if you want all the shit to get done, I, I, I got to do it this way or my brain will delete the information. Like, I, I just... <laughs> Functional is overrated. I mean, it depends on what you're doing in life, whether or not you can get away with being less functional. Um, when I was doing direct patient care and people's lives were in my hands... Maintaining high functionality was super important. I forgot where my key was when I had it in my hand. Oh my god, I've done that. I don't know how many times I've had like my glasses on my head or hooked to the front of my shirt or my phone in my hand and I've gone over to Mr. Roch and said, I can't find the thing! And he just starts laughing. And if he starts laughing at me, I know that he can see it. <laughs> usually means it's on my person. <laughs> if it is not functional, it's either more of a challenge or more fun, right? <laughs> I mean, there's a reason that I say I'm a chaos gremlin. I mean, I... I, I have decided that I need to embrace the chaos that is my brain because you... There's nothing that me or anyone else can do to eliminate that chaos. So I might as well, you know, have as much fun as you can in the ride, man. We, we only have this ride once, so we should definitely do the best that we can to make the ride as enjoyable as possible. And if that means laughing at ourselves when we do dumb shit, then, then laugh. And if that means, you know... Acknowledging the chaos and, and embracing it. Well, you know. I would be yelling for my mom and then she gets mad when it's in my hand. <laughs> and I know that, like, other people have a really hard time understanding that this is, like, a thing. And I'm just like, I know, guys. I know. But it really is a thing. And are you kidding me? It has booms in it. <laughs> 
It's like, look at what you could have used to get into me if you were a person of planning and organization. Look, look, we have the booms. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. It has the booms, guys. And I think I have a slot for this mod. Yes, I do. <laughs> Goodness. And I need to eat and drink, so that will make a little bit more space so I can put some stuff in my pockets. Do I have any food? Do I do I not have I, I do not have food? Guess my dude's starving today. Oh, it's in my It's in my utility tray. As soon as you get into it, yep, there they are! Guys, I have charges now! Oi. So guys, gals, I grabbed two bags of Takis because they were on sale. I wanted something sweet, but that's me when buying stuff. So I'm back. Oh, yay, snacks. Guys, guys, there's, there's, there's too many. There's just too many. I need to go back to the bike, I guess, and... Oh, do I not go out this way? Brr. Is that not a button? I found a button. I just have to, like, look about. I don't think that I've actually done this one as a quest. You Asian? have not done it since they redid it. Yeah, that's what I mean. Since they reworked it. Oh, blah, blah, blah. there we go. Hello, Phantom Gender. How you doing? No. Oh. There. Blah. You were playing Power Wash Simulator. Isn't that game so relaxing? And hello, Angel Foxing. How are you doing? Doing good and extremely sleepy. Well, then you go ahead and go get some rest. And thanks for coming and saying hi. I appreciate you bringing your community to visit. If I saw that button, I would have pressed it a thousand times, right? It's like, yes, button! <laughs> Alright, how you doing, Angel? It is stressful sometimes to look at the mess. Yeah, when you first start, it's like, oh. But it's so satisfying to, like, make it better again. Glad to hear that you were doing well. Excellent. I'm sorry, you got really quiet. Yeah, I'm on. So I did not understand what you said. I was saying it's been fun to do the. Uh, they recently added basically a DLC where you get to uh, watch some of the stuff from Final Fantasy VII, <gasps> like a, a giant Midgar. Uh, nice. Uh, diorama thing and such. Yeah, it's, it's been fun. Oh, I haven't seen that. I bet that would it's be go, amazing. Uh, go clean uh, it Yuffie's bar. Oh, go to, nice. go to clean the bar where everybody hangs out. And yeah, it's... Nice, nice, nice. I have ADHD, so it makes it worse. And OCD. Oh, yeah, isn't that... Okay, seriously? Like, this guy is not worth it. He's not giving me anything good. Isn't it great having ADHD and OCD? I swear it is like having both a beaver and a squirrel inside my, my head, and they're just constantly having a war of rodents. You got the beaver who's all like, gotta build, gotta be structured, gotta have the water blocked, 
Got you, got you, got you. And you got the squirrel that's all like, Rave party, yeah! Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what happens in my head. Well, good night, Phantom. You get a good night's sleep. Thanks again for coming and hanging out. We'll do our best to take good care of the people that came with you. Uh, guys, I had too much stuff. I know this surprises you, but I'm having a hoarding and collecting problem. <laughs> I want to be able to put everything in my pocket, guys. I need, I need bigger and more pockets. I need all the pockets. Why is wanting to establish order is node known as disorder? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you're trying to say, Edgar. I'm confused. Basically, why is wanting to establish order known as a disorder? Oh, 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 oh! Because man, when you have OCD, you take it way, way too far. So. It is really good to be organized and to plan and all of those things, but OCD is where you get stuck in that stuff, where you can't get past the sorting because it's never good enough. So you can literally spend all of your day trying to make it just right, just perfect. Because I think the most confusing part about mental disorders in general is that we all have traits that are on this spectrum. So if you look at anything in the DSM-5, these disorders are spectrum disorders. So you, you have a various amount of symptomology present and which symptoms are present varies greatly from person to person. So... People who are not in the disorder category, the people who are not abnormal, have some of the traits of these disorders and they're perfectly normal and they're perfectly fine and, and there's no issues. But then on the other extreme is when these traits cause dysfunction, distress, danger. You know, it's all the D's that matter. Um, so when it starts getting in the way of being able to do the things that you need to do in life to function well, that's when it becomes a disorder. <laughs> There's four ads. Ah! <laughs> Sanely big of a bag. <laughs> big bag. And this is a big generator. This must be one of the... Um, I must say it's a tier 3, maybe a tier 4. No, I think it's a tier 3. Must be like restoring the power quest. Yes. There's a regular quest for there, and then there's also restoring the power quest. Yeah, because I don't have the restoring the power quest. I just have the regular one. Ah! Well, that could have gone better. I'm getting my butt kicked here. Bonk him! Bonk him good! Bonk and boom! <laughs> That's kind of my M.O. I, I have questionable ability to speak them. I don't even know if this side of things is still part of this quest area. It is. Oh, okay. Because it looks like I found the final loot. And generally speaking, you don't do stuff after that. So I was kind of puzzled, but this definitely looked attached. Yeah, I definitely have not done this since they reworked it. But I'm kind of like a little homebody, even in game, so I don't venture too far from wherever we've set up base <laughs> most of the time. So I end up like living in one little area, and that's that. Which means that there's a lot of stuff that I haven't seen yet. 
Even though I, I play this game a lot. Well, it sounds like there's friends on the other side of this door. But it doesn't sound like I it doesn't seem like I can just go on the other side of that door, so I think that's all of this space. All right. Now I can reset the quest and I won't even remotely have enough pocket space. There's just definitely not going to be enough pocket space. Is there ever? Mm, no. No, I don't think there ever is. Um... Fix myself up a little bit. I fall apart, guys. I fall apart. of those in my all right here we go and we are clearing the area so I need to kill the bonk need to do the box I always want that to be a way up, and it never is. Sweet. Oh, you just got it? Nice, 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 nice. I mean, they're not really friends, but I mean, I'm I love this game so much. It's so fun. I I might legit be obsessed with it. <laughs> oh, I totally missed him. And they ran past me, so I guess we're both like whiffing. Mutual whiff whiff. the inventory so I'm probably going to have to just leave this to be cleared before the next time I do the quest makes for a faster go through yep my butt or chewing on it or whatever you're doing back there I didn't consent stay out of my ass I don't even know what that's on your zebra pig say he was like standing on his head and stuff I always say things you don't expect <laughs> well really I got a little obsessed almost every time I see you streaming you play this a lot I do I play this game a lot <laughs> <laughs> and I, I think that's how you read that, right? PFFD is I've decided that's the noise that goes with that. It's how you write raspberry.
Oh, this has got the bigger boys, and I don't have a lot of hit points. So let's get out the gun! They got the green glow on them, that's yucky. <laughs> yeah, as in you agree that's that that's how the PFFT should be right is. <laughs> all right, I think. Yeah, it says return to traders. We got all the things. Look at me waddle it, guys. Do, do, do. I don't have too much in my pockets. Nah, nah, that's not a problem. That's not a thing at all. This is the person who can just barely move around because they have so much stuff in their pockets. It's fine. Yeah, this is going to stay unlooted for the next time. Not enough space. Oh, man, I got a broken leg. That's the worst. That's the worst. Oh, and there's an airdrop over there, and, oh, man. Urgh. Urgh. I don't have enough space for that. <laughs> the lady got Omega bombed. She's like, whoa, poof. Big bonk. Yeah, when you put a lot of points into the club, ooh, look at all that iron. You can start uh, really doing some some serious bonking. Yeah, like that. That's a good bonk. It's very satisfying bonking. I mean, I just picked that grass with my pick. Not what I was aiming for, but... I got it now. Yes, a very good bonk. <laughs> I agree. There's just something very satisfying about it. It just, yeah. Waddle, 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 waddle. carrying too much stuff. It's fine, guys. Uh, it's such a good thing that I have a bike because <laughs> it's so slow when you have a broken leg and it takes forever to heal. I'll be satisfying to bonk them. It really is. Time to do the laxative effect and go up to bed and <laughs> have a great stream. Well, thanks for coming and hanging out with us, Levito. I hope that you sleep very well. And hello, D-Max. D-Max Carews? Welcome, welcome. We'll give you a little shouty shout. Shout out. Got a dream, too. I was working on it. But I must have done something wrong because it didn't even come up. No, I got it. All right, Miss Roch is on it because I broke it. Nothing surprising there. So you were playing Overwatch 2? Nice. Was your team winning? And who do you generally play? Oh, we're doing a posture check. Thank you, girl boss, because I was definitely being all slouchy again. Like, my perpetual slouch. I swear the minute I stop thinking about it, I'm slouching again. I would definitely have less shoulder pain if I could, like, keep my shoulders back. But nope, nope. Duct tape, bungee cords, definitely, uh, <laughs> right? possibilities. I think that's about what it would take, too. Oi. Uh, 
All right. Oh, wait. I want to go in the back so it'll be easier to... I can do it from here. I can go around the back this way. Oh, wait. Ooh. I suddenly lost the ability to drive properly. Suddenly? Yeah, suddenly. I've, I've had it all along. <laughs> When I don't pay attention, I put my legs on the wall. Am I the only one that does that? Um, I don't tend to put mine on the wall. I tend to fold mine up underneath me and sit on them. I sit on my feet. Like the crisscross applesauce. I think that's what they call it now. Yes. Still throws me off when I hear that. It's like, what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have to process. Cause, Cause, that's not what we used to call it growing up. And I get it, but it 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 takes reprogramming of the brain to do better. Okay, boomer. Huh? I'd say okay, boomer. <laughs> boomer. <laughs> I am. I'm. I've gotten to that age, man. Whew. We fall into the group, man. We we make all the all the boomer mistakes now. I'll go upside down. <laughs> Watch the stream. Hey, you know, if it's comfortable, just do it! <laughs> I sound like your mom. <laughs> Let's uh, see what we got oh. for cooking here. Oh, you must have too much stuff in your inventory. Yeah, that happened. I opened up the, the cooking box to put the water in there that you'd cooked, and there are bullets, and it's like, what the hell? <laughs> oh, but everything else is missing. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll come back here in just a second. Oh, I don't have enough room. Shuffle, 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 shuffle to stuff. <laughs> no matter what I'm talking about, she always say that. <laughs> it is really kind of wild and crazy, like how much over time the names of things change and how much things stay the same and how much they change. It's really very interesting to me. But there is like a lot of stuff that just changes a lot over time. And then there's a lot of stuff that just stays the same all the time. I mean, this is why Shakespeare transcends time is because so much of the human experience is exactly what it was. I find all of that very interesting. Well, I'd help you empty your bike, what but are you it's holding? locked, so. No, what were you holding that was purple? You, you, what? Kind of red, but. Well, no, that was not it. He's being a troll now. Hey, I child, be a how troll. are you doing? <laughs> Such I am doing well. Oh, you are definitely my number one troll. Do not know what you speak of. No, you can play denial all you want. It is the truth. Being like the king of trolls. All right, brass goes into this one. Okay, and then I need. Oh, you're in there. Okay, so then I need antibiotic to uninfected myself. Alrighty. 
Now I need to actually bring stuff with me, like a prepared, responsible person. Do we have the stuff for me to make more herbal antibiotics? Mm, I don't know. Blueberries, mushroom, chrysanthemum. I was like, I don't remember what it takes to make them, so I, I can't. Well, maybe if you go harvest the mushrooms. Okay. <laughs> all, all the mushrooms. Okay. Well, let me stuff some food in my face and get something to drink. And remember, you can actually carry food with you in this game. Yes, I, I, I do carry the food with me in this game. I will say, though, that it, it, it's, it's a habit that I am out of. Which is super. No, nobody hard. can make it right in your pocket. So. Yes, nobody can. Nobody can rot my food. <laughs> they they were always like, you guys are always spoiling my food. You're like, I'm one spoil. Alrighty, so I'm assuming that it's still up at the top. Yes. Not on that one. Uh, not on that one. It's on the side of the orange roof. Because I have one that's over here where the land came Right, you've is. got one over there, and then you've got... Ah! So I would suggest moving one or the other to... Group them together. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm more likely to actually see them over here, so I'll put it over there. That's my theory, anyway. Damn, growing, four plants, growing. you got two seeds. Boo. Yeah. Ready, 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 ready. Lots of readies. I mean, while I'm up here, I might as well uh, take care of all the plants. Yes, I will be playing uh, the. Twitch enabled, Mr. Baker. Mr. Maker enabled server. So I will be playing the Don't Starve and, and not Don't Starve. I will be playing the Seven Days to Die, and you will be able to murder me. Tomorrow is the night of chaos, and I do now have my schedule in the Twitch schedule. So if you want to see the schedule. And the games that I'm playing, you can do that in the schedule of Twitch. You will probably be on. Nice, nice. We look forward to seeing you. In what server? I'm confused now. Alright, so you need mushrooms. I won't do any more cooking. I will let you cook rest, uh, the stuff. Okay. I will make the aloe into cream, though. And I can make some alcohol for you. Yes, alcohol. Do I not do that here? Oh, it doesn't have any wood. I've been building box underneath the uh, crafting materials. Oh, no worries then. And yay, wood! 
I was like, why is the chem station not working? No fire. All right, let's 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 try that again. Now that we've got fire. All right, a whole two alcohols fired up. You need some murky water. That's easy enough to do. Yeah, I've got like 125 jars or. No, it looks like 250 jars here. Yes, fire, fire! So it's just a matter of filling them. Yeah, I know. But I have got a full stack on me, so. Oh, absolutely fabulous! <laughs> All right. I think now it's a matter to, of going to the next crest. 26 herbal antibiotics. Nice. All right, let's see if we can turn this quest in and pick up a new one before the trader closes. I should be able to. It's only 20 hundred. People say that every time they hear fire, fire, fire! <laughs> hey there, undead! How you doing? I'm doing pretty good today. Killing zombies, and I keep running, which is making my leg worse, guys. My leg never gonna heal. If you break a leg, don't run on it. <laughs> in game and out of game, that's good advice. Do you need another beaker? Mm, probably not. Uh... All right, then I will buy. Then I will accept the tactical assault rifle. Oh, <laughs> it's his arson weed. Fire, fire, fire! You looking to earn some dukes? Hurry back soon, and I'll have a nice reward for you. Uh, I might have picked up a quest I didn't want. Okay, Burt House, that's fine. I thought for a second I picked up our base as a quest. Mm. No, you should be far enough along for her that she won't offer that unless you do the lower level quest. It was just close enough that I was like, hmm, it's suspicious. Uh, but no, it's into the fuddery area. Alright, so I just have, at this point, her quest. Alright. <laughs> oh, yeah! Yeah, that's me and words all the time. <laughs> We're trying to come up with a word. I still don't think that I cleaned out my bike. I always forget to take oh, the stuff off of my bike. You're still not very far from, uh, uh, from home. No, that's all right. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just do this quest. And... <laughs> my bike can be full right now. I guess it's fine. But I'm pretty sure I forgot to empty it. Always and forever. No, I didn't. Holy crap, I emptied it. I just forgot that I emptied it. I forgot something. You know I'm forgetting something. I mean, that's like a guarantee. I don't know if this area has been cleaned out. Let's take a look and see. I don't remember if this is one that has stuff in the well. Nope. That would be a nope. That isn't even a real well. Nope. I mean, just go in there and swim in the dirt a little. That's fine. You can loot those uh, coffins. Oh, I guess I can. I don't know, they didn't look lootable to me, and I just moved on. <laughs> I didn't even really, like, curse her over them to check. I just... My brain did not say, oh, I could loot that. No. Nope. 
No, gotta make sure we loot all the things. I'm sure that there's some sin in leaving behind even just one little speck of dirt, I mean. It does look like somebody was here before me, but they didn't move properly. Yeah, considering the wagon's gone, but or it's been long enough that stuff's respawned. Oh, that's true. But I don't think so, because like that the item stuff is empty. It's just that nothing's been wrenched. That's not looting properly. Uh, there's, an uh, occasional, that's the problem. there's an occasional thing that is like this grill had something in it, but for the most part, it looks like some, it, it has been looted through and that it hasn't hit the uh, respawn time. Unless it was looted more than once. It's so hard to say. It's awful thundery out, but it's too soon for it to be a horde warning. Isn't it? I mean... I'm this guy doesn't look right for a horde, but... Okay, I'm inside. I couldn't look up at the sky. I was gonna say, well, I don't know, it's 9 o'clock. Maybe it's not too soon for a horde warning. And I don't hear any thunder on my end, so... Oh, okay. Yeah, you would definitely be hearing it if it was a horror warning. And it's not red. I should have just looked at the number. Yeah. I mean, you can turn that off, but... Ugh, five ads. I wish they were spaced better. I mean, I don't know that there's a good way to do ads, but I don't know. I feel like, in general, I personally would prefer if it was, like, one and then they go away for a little bit and come back. But then you would have more often, so I don't know if that's really better. I don't know. They are kind of a necessary evil, though. That's how everybody gets paid. That's how we can do things without everybody having to pay for it. So as much as I hate ads, I always try to remind myself that that's how there's a free option for watching Twitch stuff. <laughs> Because I'm like with everybody else, I don't like the ads either. And I enjoy way too many streamers. I can't like sub everybody that, <laughs> that I want to watch. So I guess stuck with ads. Uh, one of the many things that I would do if I was just like an independently wealthy person. I would sub every Twitch channel that I watched. <laughs> it's it's kind of an interesting like thought to have like what would you do if you were rich like really what would you do i mean and i i always think like the first things are well definitely i would take care of my debt and the debt of like my immediate family members but then what like and then i don't know i think that one of the high on the list things would be seeing an EDS specialist. Hey, Miss Happy Bug, how you doing? And welcome to the Dazzle. Because I wouldn't have to worry about like how much of it was paid by insurance. I could just, you know, do it. That would be amazing. And you know, if, if you were rich, you also wouldn't have to worry about having to travel there, right? Glad to hear that you're doing well. I think my like 
things that I would do if I was rich list is probably different than most people. I mean, I really don't know, but I would love to find out. <laughs> I would give to you and get some description. Thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm glad that I am on your dream list. <laughs> oh. <laughs> huh? You have a redeem. What? Oscar, you're <laughs> killing me! Oh, I just died a little inside! Oh, look! And look! Look at... I, I'm starting the timer now, so when I'm lamenting... Look! Look at you! You're leaving me with just a little hanging on to the toilet! Oscar, what do you... Look, you could have... You could have at least waited until the toilet popped! But... But it's just... It's got one little whack left! Hmm... Well, she can still loot. She just can't dismember her disassemble. Thing, so, yeah. <laughs> Looting is her <laughs> purpose in life. What will she do now? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to fall apart. <laughs> I just just stare at all the things. I would loot you. I would put you in my pocket, but I can't. I'm oh, sorry, I can't. I can't you either. Ah! <laughs> this makes me so much happy. <laughs> well, I'm glad you enjoy my suffering. Ah! You, I can put into my pocket for later destruction. But you guys, you guys are all... Ah! <laughs> I'm trying to breathe from laughing. Well, the way to the roof has been taken apart in the room you just left. Where the chair was against that wall. That's and how you're supposed one? to get out through... And the one with the bed, the large bed and that, yeah. To your right, it's supposed to be, you see, there's the lantern. That's the way you're supposed to go up. There used to be piles of shit there that got taken apart, it looks like. But you go up through that hole, which leads to the hole in the attic. So I can't destroy for loot. Does that mean I can't destroy to get up to look for loot? Mm. I mean, you would get loot from destroying it, so I'd go with no. But all you right, got some wood right. on you, you can make wood frames. I was I was trying to, like, you know, get a, 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 a ruling. Miss Roch has ruled that that counts as... Because you would get something from it. No, you're, you're, you're right. That's why I was like, hmm, I don't know if this counts or not. All right, so I have to use... I have to use boxes. It's so dirty. I don't use boxes. <laughs> I break things. Aw, oh, man. I still ended up... What? Just do it underneath you. Just pick up the boxes. I don't I do not do boxes, man. So pick up the boxes. I got it. I got it. Okay. All right. And then stand where you want and jump and put down a box. Uh... Yeah, when you break stuff, it is. Ew, that chair is crusty musty. <laughs> that chair does look crusty musty. When you break it, you get stuff. Look at all these boxes I could break. But no, no, I can't. Because Satan's child has come to visit me. <laughs> um... Does using an explosive time charge count as breaking things to loot it? I don't even know. I've never had this this no before. I don't know. Because that's lock picking, right? That's that's not that's not breaking to loot, right? Because it doesn't no, break I the mean, box. It doesn't break the box. I mean. Okay, so are we okay? Yeah. Is that your ruling? Okay. I I have to I have to always give it to my mods to make the ruling. <laughs> I thought you go on destroying rampage and then how do you remember <laughs> you did the breaking? One way to find out. <laughs> it's still locked. Okay. Yeah, that one's large enough. It usually takes a couple. Boom! So satisfying. 
And it's still locked. All right. Stand away so I don't blow my... Okay. Am I not, like, actually getting it on the chest? There. That That's definitely on the chest. Oh, my freaking lord. Like, this thing is, like... I mean... Well, it does have 10,000 points. I was say, it does have 10,000 points. But still. It's not opening! Oh, my goodness! Like, the temptation to turn them all on and light them all up is just... Why won't you it open? can't place multiple ones. <gasps> I know, but then you don't know that you need them all. I mean, it did have some good stuff in it, though. So that's that's something. We got some ammo. And some learny stuff. And some lock picks. I'm beginning to hate these boxes. And I can break things again! Blessed be the breaking gods! Uthgar, you are in love with the action band. <laughs> I am not in love with what you come up with. <laughs> oh man, totally whiffed. Zombie! Alright, we're waiting to face up! Thank you, girl boss. Uthgar never waits for Chaos Knight to cause mischief. They're like, mm hmm, I can do it any time of day, any day of the week. I'll come up with ways for mischief. I'm not Satan, child. You, you need my ex brother in law out, out of this. I'm not evil, just imposing lawful good on me. <laughs> hmm, I don't know. It seems like an awful lot of interpretive dancing. Oh, I will probably need these when we go back in. Alright. Go, go, quest! I still have 14 minutes on my cast. Alright, so we need to clear the area... This is the bunk quest. Well, there, there's one of the bunk. Dude, snake! That one's a volunteer snake. He's a whole night early. Chaos advanced night. guard. I'm sorry, what? An advanced guard is what the. An advanced the, guard, right? <laughs> Chaos Knight for days that end when it's dark outside. <laughs> You're like all the days with all the chaos. I woke up a few. Alley, alley, oxen free. Now, everybody. All right. Whew. All right. Let's, uh, oh, wait. Nope. We got a, we got a late cover. Hello, Sarah Nix. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. And it's a moth raid. Thanks for coming and visiting. What were you up to? Do you mind doing a shout out since I'm a oh, already working on it? That. Thank you. And you were playing Spirit 
Fear. I'm not familiar with that one. What is that game like? Dude, you like fell over just before I could shoot you. That's like evasive action. I mean, I admire your willingness to flop for the cause. It's a cozy but sad game about helping spirits complete unfinished tasks. Oh, interesting. What system is that on? There's an anime that's about that, too. What is that one called? Oh, that's got all the little spirits that the guy goes around and, and helps them find closure so that they'll stop possessing people. No, 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 it's gone. You ended up getting too frustrated with a glitch and had to stop. Ah, uh, that sucks. Sucks when games glitch and totally ruin the experience. I mean, some glitches are just like, man, whatever. But like, when it outright destroys the experience, that that sucks. It's on PC, Xbox, Switch, maybe PlayStation as well. Nice. I love that more and more games are just, like, on all the things. Because I can't afford to have every system, so it, I love that more and more games are becoming an option. Come on, big boy. There you go. Then lay down. Have a nappy nap. All right. It's acting like there's one right there, but I don't see it. <sighs> I'm sure I'll find it. It could be above me or below me. There are like three in the attic. Yeah. Oh, that's lit up all kinds of red dots. Oh, I'm in a corner. That's not a good place to be. We had one find his way up. Maybe that was the one that was... Sounds like there's a dog somewhere, but I don't see it. I'm going to lurk and find some food. Well, you enjoy your food, and thank you for the lurk, and thank you for the raid. We appreciate both. All right. It'd be nice if there was something for my concussion in here, but nope. All right. Oop. I get to read and chat and just keep breaking the box. It's fine. That's beyond rude. Ugh. I have to do it the dirty way. At least its last incarnation gave me pigs. <laughs> well, you figure. Those were 10,000. It's going to take four of them usually to break into. I had four, and it told me to bugger off just the same. I said, usually we'll take four. 
But if you did that much, if you did four of them, it shouldn't have that much life left. You could just beat it to it. I don't know. No, I still like got almost four thousand. I don't know. Hmm. I guess it's probably faster because it only got three on the locks. I say this, but it will probably tell me to bugger off with the locks too. Oh, I just want the goods, guys. I just want the goods. Look at, look at it. Look at it being a jerk. It taking way too many. And at least it gave me more picks, I guess. It could have given me explosives. That would be better, but you know. Gave me a treasure map. That's cool. I like treasure. All right, let's loot our way down. And I still have some guys hiding somewhere. I don't know where that somewhere is. Oh, that's probably one of them. Get him a little bit of a shotgun to the face! Look, he's being a good puppy. He's sitting. Hey, guess what? I can break this now. So it was definitely that dog, because it says return to traitor now. I wonder where that dog was hiding, because I didn't see it anywhere. He's sitting while you're just stabbing him. Yeah, it's totally fine. It's fine. He likes it. It's how you pet him. You're just you're just vigorous petting. Those are peas. Definitely don't want to eat those. Peas are like one of their more rare cooking ingredients. They can be such a pain in the butt to find. So you definitely don't want to eat them when you find them. You keep the peas in your pocket for future cooking. Ah, uh, now I can break this sketchy chair. Look, it's so delightfully wonderful to have all these things in my pocket instead of leaving them behind. Only in twenty eight sixty three stab dogs to pet them. <laughs> it's just aggressive petting. They like it. It's fine. It's totally fine. It helps them relax and calm. Did you see how still he got? He totally settled down and got still and relaxed when I was petting him aggressively. That's how you know we liked it! Sure, it's like relaxing! <laughs> so, this is how Zebra Pick gets cancelled. <laughs> this is why I have to be marked as adult content. Because my humor is broken. <laughs> <laughs> I 
It's also why I will never associate myself with being wholesome. People come along and they're like, oh, you're so wholesome. I'm like, have you listened to my humor? I'm, I'm not sure that you're going to think I'm wholesome if you stay around for any amount of time. <laughs> That's why you love my streams. Because of my broken sense of humor. Well, welcome, fellow broken one. <laughs> Laugh with me about twisted things. <laughs> And I have, like, almost no brain-to-mouth filter, so if I think it, it comes out. <laughs> it's just bad. I've been doing a lot of practicing with the, like, brain-to-mouth filter, like, not swearing and stuff when we're doing YouTube recordings so that Siri doesn't have to, like, edit all of that out. And also because if I'm going to stream on YouTube, I, I have to be better <laughs> at, like, not. So, yeah, there's that. And not that I have any plans of going exclusively to YouTube, guys. Just let, let me put that out there. Like, no worries. I'm just considering adding one day of streaming on in addition to what I'm doing in, in Twitch on YouTube. Tick, burn her! Oh, wait, uh... I know, right? Because <laughs> it goes towards your watch hours. Towards getting monetized. So, yeah, it would be super helpful, but... You gotta, you gotta follow the rules, and... Huh. <laughs> that car's like, I can't actually bat you on YouTube! <laughs> There's a lot of things that we can't do on YouTube. All the Twitch integration stuff. Gee, is not YouTube, so we can't do all the, the, the chaos engaged. I, I honestly don't even know what I would stream over there. I haven't gotten that far. I have to, like, get better at all my other things first. We'll see, we'll see. It, it's definitely something I've thought about. Nice voice, Grax. <laughs> Guys, my pockets are full! I don't know how this happens! How does this happen? It's not like I pick up everything in sight. Shit, picking up everything in sight. Sure, that's not the problem. Oh, guys. There's 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 all the stuff. It's just all the stuff. You're in 15 rooms in almost five minutes. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, are, are, are you trying to suggest that <laughs> that, that uh, somehow implies that I have, like, too much things? Hmm. Hogwash. Or are you just admiring my high efficiency looting? to return to base and <laughs> both <laughs> and empty out my pockets I mean I don't know what you're talking about I never loot nothing mm, I got no practice mm, no 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 <coughs> <coughs> uh, there's still the airdrop out there Maybe I should go get that. 
a lot of them with all that inventory space you have. Well, I I would have to stop by the the house first, which is is in route. I have been. It is it is just about time to end. You 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 are right. It is that magic time. I'm sure my thing would have flagged me here soon. <sighs> it always goes by fast when you're having fun. Alright, and I need what? This one is iron. I got no iron here, but I got some clay. This one is bread. Bread. Yep, this is the bread. We put bread in this one. It's bread. Brass and lead, which apparently, if you say them together, is bread. You're glad that it's spring break and you can stay up. <laughs> yeah, breaks are always nice. Um... Did I put clay and stuff in the wrong one? Yes, that one is just stone. I did. I put it in the wrong one. I probably meant to put it in the one next over and yeast. No worries. I'm good for that kind of stuff. Bonk. Oh no! So much stuff. Bunk. Dump box number two. I fill you. Because dump box number one is full, so I gotta go to you, bud. It's your turn, dude. Alright, and then we're gonna read that. So that I'll remember it exists the next time. You don't have art. I have lots of art. Eats pop tart. <laughs> yeah, I totally missed that I had a stack in my inventory. It's fine. This happens to me all the time. I'm like, I don't have any of the things. I like literally had all the things. Look, I'm I'm emptying my bike too. Yeah. Wow. Alright, and then I want... I'll just take out of the... Okay, I want... Oh, it looks like you took out all the first aids? What did you do with the Yes, because there were too damn many. The box right above it. One marked first aid bandages. Oh, you made like a dedicated box. I was, I was confused and not prepared. and was expecting things to be where they always were. Ah, you moved it. And well, then stop us. making so damn many bandages. Maybe the rest of the stuff will fit in the box with them. Um, I think it's you who's making them. <laughs> All right. like I made a few, but then every time I turn around, there's more. I'm pretty sure that it's you making them. I just learned how to sure. make bandages. No, literally, I just <laughs> learned. Yeah, I know. So... But you keep making the yellow cream, so it's like, well, shit. That's the only thing yellow cream is used for. It's like, okay. Well, you can uh... use it as a smaller healing item, but yeah, yeah. I don't think there's anything else you could do with the aloe that I'm growing, so, you know. Make seeds. <laughs> I mean, and then what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. All right, thank you, everyone, for all the amazing support that you've given. I super appreciate it. Thank you for everyone who has given donations, whether that has been in money or you have been one of the people who have gotten me video games that we get to enjoy together. I really, really appreciate all the support. You guys are just awesome. Thank you so much for being here and hanging out with me. If you would like to check out the coffee shop, that is down in the about page. It's the buy me a coffee. It's like Patreon with tiers of support. Thank you to everybody who is giving us the fan art. It's amazing. I love it so much. If you would like to share your art, you can do that by going to the Discord server. There's the fan art channel. 
any art put in that will go into this slideshow so everybody can see your awesome goodness. And you can also go and check out Siri Skulk's uh, artwork by going down into the about page and clicking onto the dragon. That is the artist that has done all of our overlays and the emotes. They're amazing. You should go check out the stuff. Will you have a great night, girl boss? Thanks for coming and hanging out with us and you sleep well. And let's go look to see who is available for us to raid. Let's raid Little Monsters. They are also playing Seven Days to Die. And they're a lot of fun to watch. I enjoy them. All right, guys. So as always, we're going to throw two or three Doritos. Make sure that they have plenty of tasty snacks. And uh, as always, thanks for hanging out. Tomorrow, I will be streaming the same time, 6 p.m. Eastern time. We'll be playing Seven Days to Die again. But we will have... Twitch integration and Mischief Maker enabled so the chaos will be engaged and you guys can murder me. <laughs> Alright, until we can hang out again, you guys be sure to take care of yourselves. Bye!